All right, welcome everybody. It is an A1 matchup. Nathaniel and Harrison on the commentary. How's it going, Harrison? Oh, it is going great. I got a full belly, but a hunger for more Mahjong. And let me tell you, what a good first table to start out and get it at. We got Arthur, Garrick, Shu, and Sub uh, Silvi. Silvi, a very, very strong Canadian player. We'll go right in hand with the rest of the players of uh, this table. Absolutely. It's going to be exciting to see how uh, Sylvie handles these A1 players. Of course, should match up well, but I think it's the first time that they've played as a substitute in A1 uh, for yeah. the history of Armel. Of course, they substitute for a lot of games and big props. It's always uh, awesome to have somebody who's willing to act as a substitute player so regularly. Yeah, getting into the hands, Garrick starting in the pilot seat with kind of a killer that I don't think is going to quite make it there. We have two Dora in hand already, but all the other shapes are pretty messy. We just upgraded to Ryankan and the Manzu, but we still have that hanging Kanchan and the hanging Penchan. Or I guess the hanging Kanchan in the uh, Sozu, but it's the end of first row. It's just very, very slow, especially with the 7 so already out. And knowing Garrick personally, I'm sure he's thinking, can I kill this Penchon? Can I turn this into a Tanyao? And that 2 so draw pretty much locks in this 1-2-3 shape, so it looks like there's just going to be a Richie Dora too, unless there's some massive hand maneuvering. The rest of the yeah, hand's luckily, kind of progressing kind of slowly, though. Yeah, Korok is drawn pretty dead, so Korok's pretty much just folding out already. It has three safe tiles that are just built up, saved in the hand, shaping up a little bit, but Ooh, that's Korok's really looking for an excuse to go. Ooh. And by for Silby is going to back off, chase a little bit more points. Probably looking for Reach Tanya Pinfu. Has a San Menchan chance on <laughs> 2 Mon or 7 Mon. <laughs> Could throw the, it back. That's not the Tempai you're looking for. We'll hold the Tempai for now, but really looking for one of several improving draws 4 Mon, 5 Mon, 7 Mon. All would work excellently. Yeah, even I think 5 Peen is that an interesting one. No, yeah, not it five gives you Santrico options, and you'll certainly accept it. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of... A lot of great Mawashi options there. Oh, and there's the East. It would have been at Simo. Of course, the, for that weight, it was, would have been 3-pin East Shampo, and there was only one of each tile left, so certainly understandable to not take that. Yeah. She on the left now finds Tempai drawing to the Onko. That's pretty big. It's Richie only. Yeah, Richie you know me on the 2-5. I mean, looks good in the wall, though. Still four left. Might be able to push some of the other competitors back. Ooh, but Sylvie's in Tempai now. Hold on. We're on yeah. three. Three Mon, three Peen. Kind of similar to what we were talking about earlier. Not a great weight, but double three Mon does look okay against Shu. Sylvie's or just Gambit two six. Dancing around for a better weight here. This five pin would deal in. Korak actually I got can't to can't imagine the Korak throwing it. Oh, two Dora in hand, though. Yeah, Korak, a little bit of Mawashi, not committed just yet, but it's going to be a tough sell. We also have a chase from Sylvie on the E-Peko draw on the 3, so uh, not quite as good in the wall, just one of each still. Ooh, but you e some more. Oh, but e pot sumo. Wow. Eric's not going to like that Oya Kabri. And, and remember, Sylvie had like multiple Tempais that were declined and finally danced around to find Hanuman. <sighs> Easy as that, just Ipot Sumo draw those. Uh, Ipot Sumo on Takame Sanzo, but it's Sanzo, so of course. Of course, oh, it's deserved yeah, to win, that's right? right? Of course. Korak now in the dealer seat. Had to pay out 3,000, but Garrick had to pay the most. And this high pie looks like it could be a call and go with the tune pair. Oh, a nice Kanchan fill as well, so two away from Tempo. Actually, Shantan right now. No, it is two away. Mm -hmm. My initial read was correct on the right, Sylvie. Maybe this turns into Sohonitsu kind of floating around for now. No guarantee that it will end up in that direction. If it's not a Sohonitsu, though, it's probably not that expensive of a hand. Certainly not the Hanuman that, that we saw last round. Across the way, Shu with very classic Richie, maybe Tanya. Uh, nice Onko draw as well. Also means we're probably not getting Pinchu, though. Yeah. A little yeah, bit of value sacrificed, there. but I mean, Tempai is Tempai, especially if you can shove an early reach on the board, just denying everybody else at the table a turn is pretty valuable. Garrick, uh, kind of awkward, Kanchan shapes will just be Ugh. playing standard. 
the 5779 is very awkward. The 4557 so is also not a shape you're pleased with, but the 3 so at least completes one of those. You just need to, yeah. to draw inner tiles for this hand. Yeah, I almost kind of want to see Garrick take some aggressive cuts. Like maybe just ditch a 7 mon early, play it as a Rian Con. Ooh, but apparently if you just draw that, now all of a sudden, flirting around with Chi Toy. You're only at 3 right now, but if you got a defend, can get to uh, 4 or 5, and then can put a real nice effort together. I do want to point out that Korak here has been playing this hand very interesting. Passed up the Chun, could have taken Tempai. Uh, instead, also declined the Yankai with the early 4 on cut, setting up this Suji trap ahead of time, no, not going to declare Ricci on the 4, four on itself. So this was very intentionally played here by Korak to try to trap the table. We'll see if it pays out. Yeah, I think if other players are watching and saw that as Sumagiri, they might be willing to follow it. But uh, definitely if you weren't, that looks very suspect right there. I would not trust 7 for an instant unless I saw that that was Sumagiri. Well, I think I'd suspect the 7 more if the 4 was the Richie tile versus how, how it came out. Um, oh yeah, of, of I'd, course... I'd expect it more, but I mean, at this level, you're not going to do anything obvious, right? Right. you got to get at least a little bit tricky with it. And it came Suji after Ricci too. Not that that makes too much of a difference here. There are two 7 mon left in the wall for the Tumul. It is Ricci Nomi as well, currently, but of course, there's always a chance at Uda. Man. You hit a Sumo, hit an Urupair, Mongon free. What are we doing on those two? It looks like still one Hatsu in the wall, so it's still possible to hit the pair with that. Interestingly, no one really has drawn Adora. Only Shu across the way can think about fighting for Chitoy, I guess. No, giving it up with the four, four so cut. Yeah, I mean, especially Dealer Reach. If it's not Dealer Reach, I don't hate being a little bit more aggressive. You hate to see that. Now you really <laughs> want to play it. I mean, you could cut four so and then gamble on three if you get Tenpai. I don't hate that. I might trust one pin Sotogawa too. I don't feel great about it, but I mean, if the hand value's there and you want to push, it's not the worst thing in the world. It looks like everyone's pretty much out here. Just a matter of can Sylvie draw, or rather Quark draw, the last seven mon, or will Sylvie or Garrick be able to have enough tiles to avoid dropping the Suji seven? Sylvie and might Garrick be out is here. Ishan on one P right now needs to draw three five seven P, I believe. Yeah, there's not a Suji five pin. Yeah, Garrick just breaks. All right, everyone gets out safely. Quark picks up the 2,000 points net. Leaves a Richie stick in the middle. Homba now. East, yeah. two continues. Quark probably better with that. He's like, man, you guys let me get an extra 500 points by all folding. <laughs> <laughs> Good high pie to start, too. Anko of the Haku, great shape in the Manzu. Completed meld in the Pinzu. We're already Ishantan. Matt just looking for a pair right now. Of course, Quark looks at this and says, is there Honitsu? No. Oh, listen, the naysayers, they'll hate me for this one. They'll, they'll, they'll throw me in the trash for this one. But all I'm saying is you get that eight mon Monzu, throw the five Dama for a turn and then get another good Monzu, like a three mon, you're, you're breaking the meld. Four, three, two, you don't need it that bad. <laughs> Not going to take the get three side Ritchie for Haku. Gun. <laughs> nah, nah. If you reach you the good way, then that means it never comes. That's how it always works. Ooh, five so cut is interesting here. Yeah. I mean, it builds a good tonky there. I'm trying to think if there's a... Yeah, it's difficult to make 2, 3, 4, Sancho. You kind of have to draw the 4 so first. But yeah, 2 so yeah. as a tonky actually seems pretty strong here. But looking around at the other hand, Sylvie is working towards the Peko and Sozu using two of those 2 so. Across the way, Shu with a Dora contained in hand. Two away from Tempai there. And on the left, Garrick. Oh, this hand's, again, very awkward. Lots of terminal yeah. pairs. Kind of just has to go slow and probably end up on a Champagne. I mean, a lot of good fold options there, too, assuming that you can get some good Suji in place, get like a 4 pin in front of whoever or a 6 so. 
Nope, there's the Penchon fill, so Garrick now Kutsuki Shun then Ah no. If we had completed one of our uncles, mm. we'd be. So still Yachan yeah. here. You could end up with a Shabo unless you can draw draw that uncle yourself. And honestly, that might be entirely doable here. There is a nine on the wall there, two one pin in the wall. Or maybe it's just Ooh. Bears. You pick a draw, yeah, or just she toy out. Has multiple options now. That could be Ipeko with a Shabo Wade. It could be Cheetoy out. Lots of options here. And Korak now has to make a decision, giving up one of the Mon blocks in order to, to hopefully better incorporate this Dora. Ideally, he would end yeah. up with a Dora pair, but... Beggars can't exactly be choosers. I mean, there it still looks pretty good in the wall. There's still two left. Okay, Garrick's pretty happy to see that. Oh, there's the oh. Dora pair. I mean, you probably just have to Dama and take your three, right? Yeah, it's se not good enough. 77 is excellent. I wonder if three Mon comes if we see Furry Ten Reach. It's on the San Menchan, so it's pretty strong. Your cool. dealer, so you can expect the other players to probably back up. Quark is probably reading that the eight Mon will flow out pretty naturally from this table, except for Sylvie. Oh no, even Sylvie might drop it. Yeah. With the early seven. So, oh, here's an upgrade. 3-6, it's pretty good. Isn't going to take the reach on it, though. Reach would be the Mongon, guaranteed. Yeah, this is apparently enough value. And if you'd sumo, you get Mongon anyway. You're just missing it's out on true. potential Hano on chance. But that's somewhat limited. Oh, now now Ipeko? No, yeah. Now Watch do you reach No, the Ipeko I definitely don't reach. Without the Ipeko, I might. I might on that 3-6 decide that I can throw a stick in. Because I'm assuming everyone else is going to fold. So at worst, I'm just, you know, getting Ryukoku points. Sylvie is suspecting something here. Drop the Itsu chance of the door acceptance. Uh, Interesting. To hold the stream on. Says something up. I mean, you see that late 2-mon in Korok's Pond. Definitely feels a little weird. Depending on pauses, too, if Korok has, like, had some hesitation on uh, some of the Monzu that Garrick's dropped. Um, wow, it, yeah, hates that 3-mon. It was Tempai, declined the Tempai, Simo. and Korok will get the Simo. On the Ipeko, so and not going to be Hanemon. This but... is where Ricci would have helped uh, for yeah. the Ipeko specifically, but still, Dealer Monk on his 12,000 points, and we have a new leader, oh. Korak. Oh, wow. What a very interesting high pie, too. Yeah, they're non, not, huh. you know, Yakuhai honor pairs. They're not even Dora. What are you doing? Yeah, about? right? Off win Dora and you miss both. Oh, no, I mean, there's an Anko. Draw an Anko. Now we're just aiming for Richie. You kind of have to. Like, you really want to force it at Honitsu with a hand like this because you're assuming you're going to get the West later, but you kind of just got nothing. I guess you could think about dropping the one-two pin. It's like, I'm not going to yeah, set the bad shape, but... Like Sanchoku. Trying to chase that for a little bit of value, but... I don't know. There's the oh, West wow. Oslo. <laughs> Interesting. Now it could very easily go to Honitsu, especially if you fill in some more Sozu. Just drop the Penchon and Pinzu. There's some other notable right. hands here. I mean, Sylvie kind of has yeah. a standard Richie Pinfo on the right, but across huh. the way... Shu has oh, a pairs con. and potential Chi Toy Dora too. And on the left, Garrick has honor pairs. Looks like it's going to be a Sohonitsu. Uh, yeah, very telegraphed, but I mean, you lock down a suit, you lock down a suit. Big obstacle for the other players to play around. What is Shu? Shu's Ishanten right now? Yeah, Dora, something. 7 a. I wonder if Tempai's gotten on the 7 pin or the 8. So, oh. Shu will not uh, Tonki on the south. Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah, I think you have to door Tonki there for Shu, but Korax declared Dealer Ricci after a con here. Now, Garrick's found Tempai on Let's the see, 8, no. so, and is fighting. Doesn't feel great, but it's early Suji. If they don't have anything else, if. Especially for Shu, who might want to push this hand, goes. Oh, wow, Garrett shuts it down with the Itsu. And that will be a Mongon. Yeah, that's so big for Garrett. Not only did not like getting those points, but denying Korok that second hand, even though there wasn't really a Han with it, there was a Dora chance. And the Fu was insane. It was like 
what plus 40 yeah just on top from, it was like a 60 alone. foo yeah 60 foo so even if it's one han 60 that's somewhat meaningful you get an uradora or yeah on roll it's going to be 70 yeah Whew. I flip any yeah. Uda. Like if you draw, say, yeah. 2 more 4, four mon, flip an Uda, that's, a, that's another mon gun. So yeah, huge win there for a character. Shut that down and keep this game relatively close. Sylvie now the dealer in East 3. There's an East in hand, but only one of those. Probably hold on to it just a little bit longer to see if it can be paired up. 5, 6, 7 chance for Sylvie here. On the right, we have Dora Pair, 9 mon is the door for, for Shu, and we've also got a Chun pair, so it could be a call and go potential Mongon across the way. Garrick could open up for Tanya, chooses to let that Kanchan 7 so pass. Uh, two away from Tempa here with Chitoy option. That's a little bit farther away, but I guess it's yeah. also Dian Chantan. Likely just playing pretty close because there's not a lot of value. would rather keep a hand that can be more defensive rather than something you got to overextend for for not too much. Oh, and Shu, really interestingly, finds a fifth pair, but again, another Yakuhai. Greensman wants cut already, so it's not quite as strong as the Chun, but... I mean, if you're Shu here, do you even just go Chi Toy? It's almost worth less, right? I mean, if you, you try get to hit the... two Yakuhais and then get a pawn of the nine, then that's Hanemon territory. I suspect that Shu will open up if a Yakuhai tile comes out, but if not... We'll sir oh wow. Never mind. That's that's a chi toy commit almost. You are overblocked I mean, here. Could be trying for toy toy or something to just right. say I'm cutting Pinzu. I have home oh. to back up some Monzu if they come. But that that was one Still of your have their high shoes. values. Yeah. Crack on the left. Not oh. too much. Chi Chantan. Chi Toy Tempai, Chi Toy Dwarf 2. Such a dirty reach on oh, this one pin. It's no going to come out. It comes out E Pods. Like, yeah. <laughs> From the 7 8 cut, too. It's oh, so not too for the oh. oh, no. That was just dirty. And Shu just. What a move to commit to the Chi Toy. Said the, the 7 8 wasn't good enough. Opening up. It's too slow. Home. I'll just keep the shapes I have. And amazingly, drew the four so into Tempai. I was able to take that awesome one pin reach, the ideal weight there after discarding two pin and three pin early. There's no way you're waiting on a one pin unless it's Chi Toy. 16,000 points puts everyone over 30k. Garrick will have some work to do to catch up, but that deal in, that's just a deal in that is going to come out. The, the, there's not much else to do there and now in shoes dealership east pair could be double ton here and great shapes to accompany that as well as a dora promising for 5800 for shoe on the right garrick with a standard reachy hand but no dora not a lot of value here just yet across the way korak calls the shot aiming for shahonitsu most likely uh, could also just shut the hand down with a thousand points if the Honor tiles with Pinzu don't flow in so easily. Oh, and it looks like we're moving that direction with the two Mondra. Home. And on the left, we've got Sylvie with two Dora. Okay, shapes, but a lot of honors to shoot through for the time being. Yeah, definitely going to have to come back in the second row and try to fight for that hand. Although, depending on how quick these other hands are, she's... I guess still Ron Shantan, which it doesn't feel like they should be with this hand, but... That's a good calling options here. You yeah. honestly, you're expecting to see the nine mon, but Sylvie will probably hold on to that. Might be more difficult to complete than than you'd expect. Home. Oh, there's one pawn. Still need another. Garrick is working his hand towards Richie Pinfu, maybe Tanya. Oh. Ooh. The toy toy, but you gotta throw a Dora for it. That's very interesting. Sacrifice one Han for two Han. It's true. I'd imagine maybe if five so comes out, you do it. If five so doesn't come out, I think there's no situation where you drop the Dora here. If you pull in five so and discard seven so, it's very unlikely you're waiting on the eight. Yeah. Uh, eight so so. 
The only reason you would do that is if you had Toy Toy. Korak's got a con locked and loaded. May see it on a good Tonky option. Probably just going to be used as a safe floater. Gee. And she just decides to open up block in the one hand. Doesn't want to mess with Toy Toy. This is oh. Do we see a con for Rinchon? This is pretty good. Nope, Korak doesn't want it. Since there's a bit of danger, it says it's not worth putting another indicator on. Yeah, because you know she was temp by here, so... Come oh, on. there's the two. Wouldn't have had to wait too much longer. He does pull yeah, in. Yeah, who knows what that other tile could have been. Were they both nine months out at the time? Yeah, all the all the weights were out okay. except for the three pin. But he could have flipped a, a door potentially and then gotten the zoom later. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. we'll have to check later to determine whether that was the right move. I mean, of course, when you're making that decision in the moment. Yeah, you can never know that. Exactly. You just make the best one that you can. And it seems reasonable enough to n to decline the con there. Garrick now dealer in <sighs> South One. Is it a Honitsu? Awkward. I mean, Garrick's going to try for it, but even that doesn't feel great right now. Your Sozu shape is good, but you have no pairs of valueless honors, and like you have the four or five you got to break. It looks like Korok might be doing something similar on the right. Chun pair, North pair. It's not terrible. I mean, Chun comes out, you're feeling pretty good. But again, uh, Yaman in the suit that has the fewer tiles, so unclear. Uh, so we cross, cross the way. Tanya tiles looks like four pairs. Yeah, basically, I'd imagine that's just going to be a playback, and then once you're given a reason to fold, just use it. Aha, Dora. That makes me think of Chitoy more. I might cut eight pin or four yeah. here. I like four, so I think that's your most efficient discard. Mm -hmm. Shoe on the left, just kind of playing slow. Is that Rian Shan 10 right now, but can accept Dora? Has a Tanya route. Yeah, this hand plays itself pretty much. Sit Classic Rishin Pinfu, potential Tanya yeah. or Dora. Garrick hasn't really drawn anything useful. Did throw the Dora out, so that is signaling to the table that it's not a Monhonitsu. And the six so draw indicates that we're going to force so Onitsu could be Chi Toy. Yeah, I mean at that point I think you kinda of have to if you're Garrick. It's it's getting late into the hands. You're nothing's coming together. You're just waiting for a reason to fold right now. If you can at least thread a Honitsu on the board, that's one thing. But oh but hold on. We get close Chi Toy, then that might be a whole nother story. We get one more pair, we're at Ishan ten. Yeah, it's not the value you're looking for, but Hey, a repeat's a repeat. Well, Jeez. this is a call. Yeah, just decides to commit to the Honitsu. The other one so is dead, though, so that'll have to rely as the pair in, in uh, Garrick's hands. Oh, there's the Chitoi Tempai for Sylvie. It'll be Richie Tanya waiting on the 4-pin. I guess perhaps Jeez. I'm going to see a 7 out and then build Nakasuji on the 4, potentially. Or just shoving to threat the board, try and get people to back off a bit. Yeah, Sylvie knows that Garrett cannot use the 4-pin. And here's the 7. So Suji created. <laughs> Korak is out, otherwise I, I would wonder about Daisangan. Yeah, right. Uh, you could probably pull a dragon if it comes out, but that's two safe tiles you're losing. Yeah, I think the problem for Korak becomes too, what do you drop after that? And There's a whole lot of not looking great tiles, so. Honitsu Chi Toy, though, that does have a bit of value. You'd have to get it on the Pinzu, but yeah, Korok's just backing off. Yeah, that means Sylvie is actually crawling player. dead here, so Garrick, a very real chance. Looks like Shu is out as well. Ooh. Yeah, Shu cannot Chi that. Really looking for seven, so is Garrick, but there's only one left in the wall. And that's really the only tile that's helpful here. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, even if an eight, so hits the table, which it's not with shoes discard, it just doesn't do anything for you. Looks 
Sun so three, that gives you another out. You can drop nine, so that's terrible. Well now if you draw the seven, you're not even going to be tempai. Yeah, but looks like it was never coming though. It will be no ten for everyone except for Sylvie. Once so it's reasonably safe here. And Sylvie picking up three K from Yukoku. Yeah, Valiant I had to donate for... the stick on the board, but... Now that actually puts Sylvie in first place temporarily. I mean, yeah, I think that's a good move for Sylvie. That's a pretty favorable outcome. You can get Korok off dealership really quick here, and you're looking pretty good. Yeah, interesting. Sylvie cutting the Dora instantly says this hand is not going to incorporate the Dora easily, so I want to get rid of it Jeez. sooner rather than later. Korok will open up Atosuke on the south. We are in the south round, so that will be a Yakuhai... Very interesting here. seven on cut too after the open up. Yeah, it kind of hedges Honitsu, I guess. Yeah, it's interesting to say the least. For sure. I shoot across the way, very awkward shape, holding a door up, but it's one looks a little yeah. tricky to complete. Maybe you end up with Itsu in the in the Pinsu. Oh, but on the left now, this is a, the hand Garrick's been looking for all game long. Mm. It's a cheat. I mean, Ishan Ten Cheatoy. Don't oh, even have oh. to play this cheat toy, really. Hold on. Si. Hold on. Eh, Sionko Ishan Ten? A seven has been cut. A nine has been cut. Department. They're both ones out, too. And That's tough. Oh. <laughs> it's not looking good. I mean, you do have a decent e Shabo Shabo though. Although it's double one chance now, which doesn't feel great. But. Gork does pull in the south here, but the weight has only one tile of each side left. Ooh, she just shoves Dora too. Says, I bet you're not waiting on a Korok. Yeah, if Korok anyone would wait Dora Tonki, yeah, I wouldn't put past Korok to be the one to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. We all know Korok's a huge advocate of Dora Tonki, but June does pass here. This comes out. East. Everybody just dancing around. Waiting hey, for what they can get. If you're Garrick here and you draw Sanzo, do you just take... Oh, no. I like the Ipeko if you draw Sanso. I like dropping Tuso, and then I don't know if I'd reach it, but definitely Dama on 7 9 and then look for an upgrade Eat. like this. But Oh, wow. Shu just pulled in some magical tiles know. here. Isha, uh, Tempai now. On the 6 oh. that came oh, out. Oh, no. Garrick's reads. You know what I bet happened? This is the Tadashi. No, Gar Garrick drew the one pin on the Ipatsu turn and said, I've done this before. I've dealt one pin into Baimon. Yeah, I think Garrick definitely just getting a bit flustered, which is, it's fair. It's bad beat nights. Well, so I think outside of the, the you know, residual fear of the one pin, um, yeah. both the one pin was bad to the Ricci. The six mon was also not great to the Ricci, but the six mon was at least half Suji, and Garrick was pushing was Suwako to its completion. So And uh, it was safe to Korok, too, so I guess it's pretty fair. One pin, I think, was not Genbutsu to Korok as well, so you at least knew you weren't paying into the dealer if that dealt in. But this does put Shu in the lead now. And Sylvie, dealer in South 3, amazing little high fi here. Very clear, Tanya. Can you get more? Oh, can't use the two pin from that. Classic. But is going to make placement. Ishan right now. Yeah, Richie hand for Shrew, but across the way, Garrick forcing in another Honitsu with Dora 3. And yeah, Korak, threatening a monster. Honitsu of his own, that is Ishanten. Yeah, double Yaku I2 for uh, Mangan. Holding this Haku for the con. Nah, um, I don't think gee. Korak's going to con from what Not we've seen anymore. earlier. I think it's safe cut. Yeah, even before that, I think Korak just holds that and goes, oh, need a safe tile? I'm shoving it. Okay, this is Ishanten now for Shu. Not willing to drop the Sozu into Korak's hand. So we're going to hold onto that deal in 5 so. It's just 3,900 right now. I wonder if Korak pulls the north and, and discards the 7 for the 6 9 if it does, if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I can see a lot of ways where Korak might try to greed the north. It is a big value oh. jump. 
aggressive 7 so good from Shu, but ends up just finding the Tsuma 1,000, 2,000. Korak now, second place, 300 points away from first in all last. Yeah. Not quite in the lead. I mean, it really is three people's game right now. Shu not even really out of the water, because, I mean, as dealer, it needs to pass dealership, build up a little value until that can happen as well. You know Garrick's probably just shoving anything too, so I don't even know if I'd rely on Ryukoku here. Yeah, is it for Shu, you, you obviously want to win a hand to, you know, bump yourself up in terms of the gap between you and Korak. But if you are not going to be Tenpai, you have to make sure Korak is not Tenpai either. Yeah. And for Garrick, I mean your goal is to try to knock somebody below 30k. But your closest is Sylvie. You need to hit Home. 55. So it looks like Garrick will just hold for Dorotanki, most likely. It's going to be difficult to put a hand together that will have enough value to do to, do the, to accomplish that goal. Korak is just yeah. trying to win a hand. Would even open up on the 5 mod if it came out from Garrick for Sandra only. And here it is. That's fair. You can pawn the one P if it comes out. Tonki on the Dora. Shui Shanta now. Poor Tanya. There's another five. Got rid of that. Sylvia on the left. And might struggle a little bit. Two a couple conchons to fill. Yeah. I mean, last North comes out from Shu right now. It does have the Yakuhai, but even after you call that, it's not looking great. Extremely In slow hand. Interesting move here by Shu, dropping back a Shantan. Boom! Oh, there's the call into Dora Taki to yep. buy. And look, like I was the Nine Mon can't deal in. From anyone's perspective here, the Nine Mon cannot deal in. What is the Yaku? Not Sylvia, though. Sylvie's season that is a good point though yaku highs are all dead so you know it's got to be oh. something weird it, not all of them the, the oh no the hatsu is dead yeah and the yeah. shaw has come out so actually and everything is live because it's not it's not a yaku high so it has to be sanshoku sanshoku or itsu there is still it cannot be oh no never mind five six seven yeah yeah, yeah. so it has to be sanshoku or just Ryukoku play, but you'd be very surprised to see Korok calling for that this early in. So I guess you Especially would be... with the one P. Oh, Garrick's in trouble. Garrick's in trouble. Boom. It's gonna be a call for Toy Toy Tempai, oh. but Boom. surprise the nine deals into a Tonki at Sancho too. Thirty nine hundred yeah. Korok will steal away first place in this game. Plus thirty yeah, point one. Shoot big takes. points. Plus 16.5. Sylvie plus 5.4. Finally, a game where Korak got to play. And uh, grabs the first place in this one. And that will have some interesting standings implications. She will climb a little bit. Korak and Garrick will swap places. And of course, Sylvie yeah, not Garrick showing up the board as a substitute should. player, but... So it looks like they're actually playing another. I know it was up in the air, depending on the length of game one, whether they were going to run two tonight. But uh, I guess that was a short enough game. They're running it back. Okay. Well, that means we can hop into it. Yeah, I was not expecting to see a second game for this table, but awesome. We get more A1 action. Hey, I'll take it. This is an exciting table so far. A lot of big swings going back and forth. Everyone's getting really high value, which is kind of surprising because it's not like it's been a lot of slow, closed play. Everybody's just kind of been getting these explosive hands. All right, well, we're right into it. Game number two. Take us away with the uh, high pipe. So, I mean, double Yakuai for Sylvie and an Ipeko off draw. You're definitely not too upset with any of that. Door Come. acceptance, too. Ooh. Yeah, he isn't even going to mess around with the Ipeko. Could even honestly just go like uh, Honitsu. I don't hate it if you draw another Manzu, connect Come. it off it, drop 1p, get the tune call. Interesting. If you see this in the temp, I just take it. Yeah, but not even on the Dora. On the Dora, I get it, but. 
very non-aggressive. I think that's leaving a couple points. You want to repeat most of all, but I think he still had enough time. I think Sylvie's right. making this decision because the 1-4 is starting to die. Uh, Sylvie can see five of them, so only three left in the wall. But if the Chun comes out, I assume we will see a Poln and a Shabo wait because mm -hmm. the 2-3 mod actually looks very difficult for other players to use. Yeah. Shoe on the right, nothing going on too much. Probably just going to back off with how we've been seeing them play. Very defensive, not really willing to open up without guaranteed value. Barack across, just going to try to draw into a reach Pinfu. More to come on that later. Ooh, Sylvie. Now gets the weight switch. Does that matter? Uh, is that more Fu? That's four. It, four it is, on yeah. the tune. Ooh, yes. Yeah, on the tune only, I think. Oh, you get an extra two from the three as well. Comes out. Yeah, so regardless... I think you're I have one... Well. Okay. Oh, because you get plus two for the Dora pair. Or for the tune pair, exactly. that's right. Come. Okay. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, oh, oh. What? We're a dealer. Okay. Dealer on a territory now. Value. We don't need food no more. That's five. <laughs> We're like, okay. We're waiting on the six you, with June. Maybe you pass the six, so hope you draw a Dora. Nah, you just con yourself into Dora four. <laughs> and now the question is, what is the weight? Oh, jeez. Yeah, that the is. Of course, like, pay, pay, pay. Get yeah. me out of here. It's a simple what? <laughs> oh. We didn't it's even look at Garrett's hand that was looking so gorgeous. On oh, the it left. is. I was off. Oh, yeah, because it's a conifer. It's Dora oh, my four, God. yeah. Ooh. Just like that. Oh, Sylvie. it's double east. That's what it was. Yeah, Sylvie yeah, jumps out the lead. Well. Oh, my God. And e <laughs> what is this? Itsu Ryanshan 10 with a full meld beside it? Yeah, this is, this is another it's insane on the pie. west. Oh, no. She got the rights. Just kind of classic right hand, now. but it's not Double really Dora, any competition but... to dealer. Yeah, two Tough doors. Yeah. That, that is pretty relevant here. Oh, the seven pin draw Ooh. means it's probably not happening. Across the way, Quark can call. You can call. always work around, though. That's true. Quark can call and go. Oh, and fails the uh, penchon. Ooh, great penchon. It. Uh, we're just Ishan then now. With potential Shabu. I kind of like throwing the force out there i'm gonna be real i could see this switching down the chanta Ooh, that's not a bad thought now the other you are two draws away from shifting down to chanta and most likely you just take the reach if you if you draw the two pin um but if you draw the five eh, but so, it's not pin foo any it's not pin foo too you know yeah if you draw the five so you, you can shift up to a door acceptance so that's probably what oh uh, that's here. a good point tempai for sylvie I just take it on five eight. Could even take six nine. No bit on. Nope. Just gonna take the five eight for added pin foo. Very fair. Oh, an eight pin uh, eight mon rather immediately drawn by shoot, but will dodge cleanly. Garrick wants to fight here. I mean, got a good draw for it. Played Genbutsu three. Next turn is gonna be the big one to decide. Importantly, there's still four or five mon in the wall, so a lot of tiles to draw for Sylvie right now. Yeah, all the eights locked away. I wonder if Quark will also push here. Thinking about it, you get nine. The tune pair did lead the hand, but you can work your way back in. Oh, the eight comes out. No. Yep, Shu sees a goodie. Shantan says it looks reasonable here, but feels in. Oh, and the Ura to make it a little expensive. Yeah, with the, the two Dora. It just seemed reasonable to try to push that hand, but that only increases the lead for Sylvie. We're staying right here in East 1. This high pie looks like it's going to be a Richie. So many otter tiles that you can't even cut this penchon super early. Show the right. More pairs. It seems like she was a pair magnet. Two door as well. Could be another Richie Chi toy door too. Across the way, Quark with lots of pin tiles, hedging points for now, but it doesn't need to force it. We'll probably still continue to hedge. On the left, Garrick. Looks like kind of a Tanyao hand if you discard this 1 2 penchon. Reaching Pinfu always an option if you could get there. 
Yeah, you'd almost probably rather try to draw around the 5P to, to break it and then just kill your 7-8 uh, round then. Yeah, again, the, the draw is not giving any clear direction for Garrick. He's making small improvements to the hand, nothing major. Shoot, draws another Penzu. Still really hard to commit to the Honitsu from this, but getting a little closer. Machine coming out across. Big fill for Garrick. We got a Conchon filled, and now we're trying to add it so it's very easy to use a 4-pin should it come into the hand. Yeah, we can see there's only one 4-pin left of the wall, and actually just opening up for Tanya. Yeah. Again, value and just making sure no one else gets a big hand and gets ahead. Right, we Safe saw... Safe to do so is pretty good, especially if this Formon comes out from uh, Korok. In the last game, everyone was pulling together these monster hands, and nothing that Garrick was putting together was finishing, so I think Boom. he's of the mindset, I just need to win a hand. I just need to make sure that nobody else could get theirs. Yeah, keep the speed up. Sylvie draws the pair of the night pin. Not exactly helpful, though. Well, this is an opportunity to break away from the 2 3 if you want. But it just takes the tempi. Okay. It's fair. See, you can only win on the 4 mon, but Korak's holding a, a an off 4 mon here. It's probably going to be a floater that he ends up trying to draw around. And there we go. No 50 10 chance anymore. Yeah, big deal. Can't get caught off guard by like Sylvie dropping a one mon and then Korok getting rid of the four. Six it would normally be hel a helpful tile here, but you're already Fudi Ten. We'll continue to hold it though, just the off chance you redraw the four seven. So. Oh, and this might come out from Sylvie here. Although yeah, it's most... getting late, so maybe danger sensed, and it will be. Sylvie's been doing a pretty good job of dodging these open hand tempies. And now you have a pretty safe route to work around with a 9-pin, 9-pin cut, unless you're worried about Shu. Yeah, that's the one thing. I'm I'm a little bit worried. I mean, there's nothing saying that Shu's got nuts Chinitsu, but there's also nothing saying Shu doesn't. Yeah, one mod, one mod, much safer here. Korak draws into Tempai now. Could Dama? Oh, but doesn't like the 6-so cut. So instead, we'll just hold... The the issue with holding for a uh, an Itsu is that you're pretty done on both sides. It yeah, doesn't like any of the souls you hear, so just backing out. Nice Garrick finds final upgrade for four mon seven mon. Now it can win a fourth seven mon. How do you feel about Eats. Sanzo? It is a five eight way with you can a chance. Yeah, it's not terrible. I mean if you're willing to play it, that's enough value to where I'd think about pushing. It didn't deal in, so promising. And now two players, Tempai and Garrick. Boom! This draws the winning pal again. Seems to be a magnet for those. And maintains his Tempai, does deal into the Tanya Dora 2 hand. Which hypothetically is less uh, value than whatever Korok was going to get. Right. Korok had Richie, Pinfu, Tanya, Possibly Peiko. Yeah, it was definitely worth more. It just feels like oh, Garrett shit. cannot catch a break in this game. Boom. He's going to be a pull-in for dealer. And a Honitsu Force? Yeah, I think you have to with a hand like this. You have the Hatsu immediately. Boom. You're assuming you get the West. All you got to do is get a Kanchan for it. You get a good floating six, good floating honors. Let's play very clear to the table. And so I wonder if Korak will try to speed up his own hand to try to shut this down. Ooh, Khan? I'd almost kind of want to see Korok just Come. lock all honor tiles Come. and like all Monzu. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, it didn't matter after the first. The Fu was definitely there, so we're guaranteed Mongon, but just ripping opportunities to try to get more points. And now, importantly, with two extra Ura chances, people might be a little bit more excited to get a reach off. Might be willing to push a bit more than they normally would. Seven months out the door, so she will get a Mongon. 
And that also adds two Han to Garrick's hand, so he will definitely be pushing each hunt end here. Oh yeah, I mean the two Dora there, double Uro too. And even three actually right. with the nine pin as well. Oh, Tepai, smash the repeat. Yeah, Seven's I think such you got it. Cut, but you just have to do it. Oh, you have the Suji on the fuck on the uh, seven P too. It's so good. It is amazing. Oh my god. There's two seven pin on the wall. True now. It's a nice draw to upgrade your shape. Yeah, I mean I like it more than the the trying to play the Haku or the East. East comes out instead of calling. Korak says, "Thank you for the two free safe tiles. I do not want to fight this hand." Yeah, you got monster from dealer, and then double Uro chance with pretty good Dora from Garrick. Yeah, you two can battle it out, and Sylvie as well had uh, could have been Tepai if they were willing to push the Montiles out, but it certainly makes sense to not want to do that. Yeah, could it does not feel great. Into Tempai here. This is interesting because the four. Pin is thrice cut, makes it one chance. Gee. Yeah, I mean, I think the problem with Sylvie is that they didn't really have anything safe, so that's the only reason I would use to justify that play. Oh no, the seven! It's gonna come out! No. Yeah. That Garrick's gonna win a manga on minimum. Uh, oh. Got him! Five on five, Uda. I said manga on minimum because I was assuming you flipped one. I was not expecting five. Oh! Oh goodness, now that, that is the hand Garrick's been waiting for. It's taken two games to get there, but... Finally back in the positives now, plus uh, 35,000. <laughs> and rewarded with an absolute stinker of a high buy with it, too. <laughs> that's okay, it, it's non-dealer. You, 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 you can take your yeah, win. Yeah, that's true, you're good. You'll there, play passive. There are three door in that hand, though. Oh, that's true. Nothing to do with it, but there are three Dora. I mean, Korak's probably looking to get something in before that, though. Has great Sanshoku chances. I mean, if I... A uh, decent enough shave, can draw around Dora and incorporate. This one bond draw makes it more obvious, but if I'm Garrick, I want to hold all my floaters and force a 1-2-3 Sanshoku. Yeah. Looking very real now. I'd probably like to see uh, Sanso out before one pin. The issue is that uh, across the way, Sylvie's just Kutsuki on them. Yeah. This early should be the, the hand to complete here. On the left, Shu can incorporate a Dora, but. We'll yeah, find not it too hard much to going on through. besides that. Uh... might even. So, Ishanta, maybe cut a pair. Yeah, I don't hate that. Cut like double six, maybe double five if you think you can get away with six later. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to commit That's to two, one. Dora Penchon Ricci, then cutting a pair seems very reasonable here. But otherwise, uh, just cutting the Penchon makes a lot of sense. Yeah, if you hit like four or five P2 and then draw into the E Peco, then you're feeling a lot better about the hand as well. Yurik is going to go Adazuke on the Sanchoku route too. Looking for a three so and then Ooh, is that just one mon if Garrick cheese three so and then pairs up? Or no, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's like at least three away right there. Yeah, in the meantime, Sylvie, a long tank on this temp. I do I drop door three mon for Ipeko Nomi. Or even reach Ipeko. Decided against it. Wants to use yeah. the three mon as a floater in the hand and draw around it. I like it. I mean, the the thing is, Garrick's already opened up on another three pin two, so it's like there's only two left to get it. Doesn't feel great. It looks like Korok and Shu might be able to incorporate it. So, ooh, Shu's got options now too. This is Tempai, tempai and just decides to take the Tempai. Doesn't want to mess around with stalling for time and trying to hit an E Peko draw. Yeah, I think the idea here is you even if you draw the four so you can still switch your weight and potentially get Sanchoku still. Yeah. Rather than relying on drawing two of the four seven Suji. Garrick is reading that the one that the East and the Haku are in the wall. And he's right, he just hasn't drawn them. Yeah, or at least worried about it from other players. It's gonna check Haku. It's better than the East. 
Or at least I guess the east looks safer. Yeah, haku, 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 okay. Of course, when it rains it pours, that's how it works. Korak trying to decide whether he should get rid of this 4-pin and hold the safe tile. He says, yeah, now's the time. Makes okay. sense. Another good floater for Garrick. We'll just hold yeah. both floating 6-pin and 7-mon. Needs the shape really badly and really wants to hit this Mongon hand, so... Gee. Quark will call Does not surprise tempai. me in the slightest. Oh, there's going to be a Ricci. Oh, not a Ricci, but a Tempai. Or not a Ricci. Yeah, 5-8. Eh, not great three. for Mar Yeah, it's a monster. I mean, hidden Mongon, but... Not looking great in the wall. Yeah, we have 1-8, one, eight, and that's yep. it. And the other tiles are very well locked into hand. Yeah, they're not really coming out. Oh. Sumo. Oh, and Shu just hits the sumo. sumo. Good, Richie San Minchan. <laughs> Richie for eight times San Minchan, sign out chance. I mean, with the... I don't, I don't actually hate that. If there are more draws, maybe. That's yeah, that's fair. It was getting really late. What the? What am I looking at? Um, we're gonna uh, try to find a Honitsu. I yeah. You got like the off east, the south off round. I mean, like, do you even play aggressive? Do you try to, like, cut 8-mon here first? Yeah, I think 8-mon's totally reasonable, given that you already have a 5. No. Oh, now do you cut 2-so and hedge? Yeah. yeah so we're un unclear which one needs to see it's going to be. I might even cut north here, honestly, and then figure out what the Honisu is after that. Because if I get, like, a pair of the 9s, and that Pinzu becomes so much better. Than even the Manzu with double Ramen. Garrick is in a reasonable enough position to just aim for a normal hand at Bidora Tonki. Oh, but this is four Mon. It's true. Still, it's pretty good. Okay, if you pair up any of these honors, and because you might even want to end up on Dora Tonki, you could totally go with a four, four pin, five pin cut right here now. Yeah. You're definitely threading the board right now. Oh, the north would have been nice. But I guess it wouldn't have well, really see, it been It would be more... relevant because... Oh, yeah, it's Honitsu. It would Honitsu make it up. Yakuhai. No Dora, but don't need it too much. Oh, and drops the 8 mon there. I get it. You really want to just take the temp 5, you can get it, but... Not the was, biggest fan. Was on Tumon Tonki and drew into a Yaman weight, not willing to reach you though. Well, it is for a ton. Yeah. But I wonder if you're better served to just keep, you know, stick with a Tonki and try to, to switch that to something else that's not Goody Ten. It's going to be more difficult to switch your weight now that you've got a Yaman shape. For example, if you had left the Tonki, you could be on the, you would have drawn the 3 so into the 2, 3, 5 so weight. It would have been an insta reach, I'm sure. Yeah, it would have been very good. Well, I, I guess the 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 play here from Sylvie was just extreme caution against the Honitsu and didn't want to drop any Mon tiles. Oh, it broke Tempai. Oof. I mean, 5-8. Now Sylvie, I guess, just looking for... I don't even know. Oh, no. Gary can't take Tempai, does, shoves Dora. Okay, yeah, uh, kind of unfortunate this hand turned out to just be Haku only. But as dealer, you will certainly accept a wrench on. Zumo. And we'll find that Zumo. So 1500 total. Carries the dealership forward. And Hypai is amazing. He shot no. that already. Actually, this is Tempai. So good, this I is guess. Tempai. You could double reach you on the eight. Uh, but do you want it's that? It's so bait. It's so bait. Reachy. It does take. It's double reachy. Garrick takes, but I will. I will tell you this for the fans at home: there is no worse anti-flow play than a double reach, especially on a Conchon. What? What would you? What would you discard there? Nine mon or seven mon or three so? I might take the Tempai. I honestly might cut 3-so and then try to see if there's Honitsu in my future. Mm, I'm thinking Itsu is... Honitsu, Itsu, something like that. Yeah, I definitely don't like dropping much in the Manzu. 
I think I like the seven mon cut the best if you're not going to take the double Ruchi. It's not terrible. I also want to keep my Pinfu options. I want to keep E2 alive. I want to keep Pinfu alive. And that's exactly why. Which is I why like I like cut thing three so. Yeah, but with seven. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I still want an excuse to make this on Izu. I'm not afraid to drop a whole meld. Oh, unfortunately, Shu's drawing all of the winning tile. Still two left. Garrick there would have importantly gotten plus one Han if he would have waited until turn oh, four okay. to read. Oh, plus as well. <laughs> five. Okay. Yeah, but okay. You know what? Double reach yeah. Sumo. That's perfectly acceptable. And Garrick continues to climb. Yeah, that's a flow builder right there. If you double reach and actually hit it, that's a good, good omen. All right, looks like it's gonna be a very classic standard hand here for Garrick. Only three diamond shapes and no pair, so we'll see efficiency from our dealer. Sylvie on the right looks to be building into lower Sozu Ipeko. Uh, but lots of mm. terminal tiles to work Could through. Could even have a Junshan, honestly, though. You're right, yeah. Not a terrible hand to build towards it. And that's why we had the 5-mon be the first cut. That cut. Sylvie recognizes that so many of these tiles are terminal that you might as well build towards a terminal hand. Across the way, Shu with a very exciting high pie though. Anko of the 2-mon and 4 pairs. Could be Cheetoy, could be Su Anko. That's true. Looks oh. okay in the wall. Oh! oh. 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 Ishan 10 for Su Anko. Okay, we have to count. It's one seven pin. There's one nine, so there's one non. So one of each, it's Gee. totally live. Garrick says, I need Pretty to speed good. this hand up. Only Garrick really knew the gravity of the situation. Yeah, this is going to be quite a call if he does end up killing this monster hand with Tanya only. Here's the south, lets it pass. I like that, I like that. We can we can give up one. Once one dies, that's when you really gotta worry. But if, if you open up, it's just you can get the fourth only. south. Yeah, she wants. You might more. have to take that later, but again, you can get the south. Fourth south. If it's buried in the wall, it's buried. But if it's not, it's coming out. You're fine with that. Quark on the left with a very standard Richie Pinfu Sanchoku. Seven Chi. Something now for Garrick. Really wants the four pin. There are two of those left in the wall. Garrick will be a little bit vulnerable if there's a Ricci here. And for that reason, I think I want to cut the 6 0 out of my hand instead of this East. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, wow. does he. Ooh, I was going to say hat options to just pair up two or three, but who needs that when you draw the four by itself? Dang. And this Tanya could shut down a monster. Two monsters. Importantly, none of the other none of the last pieces have been gotten yet. Still one seven, one nine, one nine. Yeah, chooses to hold his two pin because that can act as a pair. Uh in odd yam and later. Sure. Well, pawn doesn't quite work there. Yeah, pawn you don't like. Chi you might take. Pawn, not really beneficial. Oh, Uncle drawn for Korak. That puts the Sanchoku in doubt, but if you draw the five mine, you can still go. 8-mon, 8-mon, and work it in. Sorry, 8-pin, 8-pin would be the cut in that instance. Yeah. Yeah, for Garrick, because you were overlapping the 2-5 the and the 5-8, I actually prefer to have kept the 3, so... And this is a mm -hmm. bit of a, a backfire, but... Boom! Yeah, and then... Last south comes up, shoot just takes. Makes sense. It's getting late. You've kind of, you've sailed past where you needed to be. Still saw Uncle Chance if you can sumo. And there, it's is, true. there are tiles in the wall, one of each. Toy Slot Uncle would certainly be a big win for Shu here, especially with the... Oh, that's come by for Sylvie on Dora. Or AP, and if they're like cracked out of their minds. And nope, just decides to reach on that. I'm not sure if I'm in love with that. Dama on it, I'm fine Gee. with. Yeah, but Quark was I never going to drop this north, north Reachy or not. Had already chosen yeah. to back away from this. But someone else might. Like, I could see Garrick just shoving one out or even Shu. Possibly for Tempai. 
Garrick accepts the Fudi Tentaki because he's more concerned about the defensive aspect. Oh, wow. Oh, Sylvie read the wall. I forgot to do that. Ryuchi, Tsumoi, Peiko, Dora, too. And it's going to be a manga, and Sylvie uh, continues to build the bleed. Things things were getting close. Garrick was catching up. Sylvie says, nope, this is my, my game. Yeah, Sylvie says, remember what table you're on. But remember, that's remember just... Remember who's fan Oyakabri. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Garrick eats the extra 4,000. But that was just the East round. We have all of South round to go. Oh, and looks like we're going to need to refresh this one. Yeah, Tenho would be bugging just a little bit. All right, Sylvie. Hi, Pi says. It's pretty good. It's not terrible. Looking at a standard, hopefully reach Pinfu. Got dreams of Itsu there, too. How greedy are you? Do you just cheat us and say this is Chinitsu? Cheat! I yeah, mean... Let's go. Let's go. No, just forcing Honitsu, not even just trying to go for the quick Itsu out. I look at Garrick's hand. No Sozu tiles. It's just the eight so. Yeah, nothing there. Well says, are Garrick's you sure you don't want read, Tanya? Though, no. Five pig comes back. Home. Oh, wow. Sylvie going extremely aggressive, too. Just pawning the six. Ooh, Gary interestingly shoves eight so now. So yeah. is really going to try to fight for this hand. That is Ishan 10 for Korok as well. No Dora. But if you can find the seven Mon, Richie Pinfu, in the in the suit where the seven so feels pretty nice. The issue is that because the seven so is so hard for people to use, if they do have it, it's probably in multiples, and you really worry that Sylvie just has a pair. It's actually Shu that has the pair. Multiple pairs. Yeah, right. Ooh, oh. Garrick draws into the Onko of the Hatsu. Very interesting. Now Ishanten may even just want to end up on a Dora Nobiton here. Yeah, this is serious value for Garrick. Richi Haku, uh, sorry, Richi Hatsu, potentially Dora too. Oh, and here's what Eats. I was going to say earlier. If Korok gets it, might just take the oh. double terminal Eats. Shabo, which is very good. Oh, and we're fighting. Garrick wants in. We're on 6p5, Mon. This is danger for Korak. Only two tiles off the wall, but if he draws a 5 Mon Dora, that just deals in. Yeah, that is... I mean, it is only Mongon right now. In the meantime, but on Ura Flip would be Hanuman. Sylvie Ishanten for Mangan Chinitsu. Oh, but there's the nine Korak oh. going out. Richie Nomi currently. Much, much cheaper and it's an Ura for 2600. And of course the six on the board. Yeah, Garrick was was in a really promising spot because Sylvie can't use the Dora. Korak has to discard a Dora if drawn. In the end, Quark does pull out the 2600 in shoe already shown 10 here. Yeah, I mean, Garrick, if I'm Garrick, I'm not even the most upset about that. I really, really want a first, but like I still got a dealership left. Having Sylvie be locked to 59 right now, I think is one of the better case scenarios. Like, yeah, I would have rather sumoed and had Sylvie play Oyakabri or had Sylvie deal in direct. But just ending the dealership right there, I think, has value in, in and of itself. Now, Kutsuki Shanten, very wide shapes. With the Peko chance, Tanya Pinchu available as well. This is Tempai, but it's just not a Kanchan. It doesn't feel great. You just throw the 7 so, but it holds the Tempai. It's fair. I don't hate holding the Tempai here. I mean, if an early 6 so comes out, you're going to take it, but yeah, it's just... really hard to upgrade. Um. Yeah, that would be E Peko, right on the seven so flow. Yeah, if, if you would have kept, kept the uh, six. and Richie, you know Richie Peko on the five doesn't even feel that great either. So I wouldn't be very happy with that draw. Yeah. There are some ideal draws here for sure, like the the four so or the three so would be excellent. Koraki Shanten with two Dora. Ooh, now a Diamond upgrade. Can cut the five pin now. Just 
technically you can confirm your blocks with the four mon cut, but I don't. I'm not a big fan of this Kanchan, the seven nine Kanchan with two eight mon discarded. I really want to draw sumo. around this four mon. Oh, just sumo, sumo Tanya. Sumo Tanya. It feels bad that you didn't get the Richie, but um, it's certainly understand understandable to want to improve the weight before declaring the Richie there. Yeah, you at least want to add Pinfu on that for sure. Sure now. And I mean, you still get the repeat. So, it's not yeah. the worst. This high is not terrible, too. You can get a pretty quick call and go. Maybe even go Atazuke if a 3 ping comes out. Lock in uh, Dora Hatsu. Hatsu Dora 1, yeah, certainly acceptable. Yeah. Quark at the right with the Peko Chance. Uh, Giancon in the upper Monzu. Chance at... Mm. Could you even find Pinfu with this draw? Across the way, Garrett Home. to Dora. But awkward Kanchan in the Pinsu and Penchan in the Sozu. Could end up with a one so one pin Shabo. That would be exciting. On the left, Sylvie, very standard hand, hoping to draw into a Peko in the Manzu, but we'll just shoot for a Tanya Alpinfu. Richie. Shunt in for Shu here. Yeah, not the most value there, and not the best weights, but again, at least a repeat's a repeat. You get 20 of those in a row, you're going to get a ton of points no matter what. You're looking for 3-pin, three 3-so. Three the two, uh, the best the best threes in the game. Yeah, the uh, occultist threes for sure. What's up with that, actually? Why is every occultist tile on a three? Why don't I have like an occultist like six or something, you know? <laughs> have like an eight that's very favorable. I mean, we could start our own cult. Nothing to that from happening. Uh, all <laughs> I'm saying is eight mons always feel good to me. That's eight a... mons all reliable for sure. Feels like a kind of weird chi. Uh, yeah, right? It's not. I don't even know where you back up with that. Maybe, I guess, trying to threaten, like, a dealer Honitsu, and actually what the goal is, is to draw 1P, end up on Shabo of that and 8-mon, and get 8-mon wrong. I guess, yeah, the plan must be Dorotanki. I mean, obviously, if you get the 3-pin, you're, yeah. you're pretty happy, but... Yeah. The, the thing is, it's I don't only... want to wait on the 3-pin twice. I'm actually happy right. with the, the Kanchan in the Sozu. But of course, Shu says, I'm always going to need one three pin for this one, two, three shape. So I might as well hold, uh, uh, give myself three six for my other shape. And doesn't even care about the fact that it overlaps. It's understandable. And it does give you a better shape if you do end up drawing a Dora. Yeah. <laughs> We see a Richie from here. Did finally get that door two hand come together. Richie, door two, waiting one for Mon. I mean, that looks pretty good. There's still three, I guess just three one Mons on the wall. Sylvie has every four. Sylvie Tempai on three, so four Mon. Yeah, Sylvie drawing to one tile on the wall. Oh, and draws the one. <sighs> Ooh. That looks especially bad because you have all the fours, and so we'll just go three so three so instead. Yeah. Makes sense. Adds up. Technically, Tempai. Oh shoot, has to push this. No. Yeah, One chance she's too much of a. No error though, so just fifty-two. Doesn't have to pay a full Mongon, so definitely still feeling terrible, but could have yeah. been worse in quotation marks. I mean, this is just another game where you didn't really have a choice. You had to, to make your play. Yeah, once it gets to that, it's like, yeah, I can lay down and this tile, hand, but... Tile was relatively safe. It was one chance. Quark, though, dealer, wants to get over 30,000, get a positive out of this game. There's a door in hand, and you've got blocks. Reach Pinfu, Dora. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. A Kanchan fill. That's Ooh. a great start. Very, very big. He's going to need the 3P. Really wants to see that before anything comes uh, too far along. 
Yeah, this is actually quite interesting, Quark, dropping the four mon here. It overlaps already. You drop the two mon, so two, three, four, Sancho just out of the realm of possibility. Mm hmm. All right, Garrick, not too much going on. Looking for a standard Pinfu. Maybe a reach to oh. add to it. Sylvia Cross is just going to call and go. It drops the Dora. says, I don't need value. I just need this dealership to end. I don't want to be stuck with this Dora in hand. Yeah, I mean, I like doing that early, too, just to see, like, A, if somebody has a Ooh. pair, they have to commit to open up early for it. And then, B, you also get knowledge off of it. So you know if someone's going to have that manga on board and can just back away, play safe from them when you're up. Korak draws the south pair as a very interesting decision. Choose just to hold it as a potential pair. And uh, there's a world where you could just shift this into Tanya in the future anyway. I like this one so cut. Yeah. If you're going to cut anything, I think it's that. Ooh! You definitely cut one so here, but now I'm really tempted. I think if I draw Gee. six so, double south might just be the play. Go for a reach Tanya. You still have like reach Tanya pinfu options with uh, like a five pin drop. Yeah, there's the Itsu draw, but this is fine. You're okay. You're feeling fine still. Sylvie doesn't open up for that uh, three mon there. Yeah, it doesn't want to be headless with three calls. It's fair. It's a very vulnerable sp uh, spot to be. Oh, I guess it does well, work. Yeah. Maybe because the that was the third one pin, Sylvie's concerned that that shape is just dying. Ah, oh. yeah, but two, three, four on the uh, on the Sanshoku too, especially. Oh, here's that Taki situation. Couldn't end up avoiding it. Just gonna opt for five. Dora Rian, then you see two Dora out, so guess not terrible, but it doesn't feel great. How about eight mon? Feels better. He's uh, gonna I commit to eight mon. How close to temp by Sylvie's reading that uh, Korak is. Well, now super close with that six mon cut, I'd think. Yeah. And that's going to be Ishan ten for Gee. two as well. And now temp by. Guaranteed temp by. So we'll see Sylvie playing somewhat defensively. Yeah, as defensively as you can with four tiles in the hand. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> you don't love pushing the A8, but you'll take the uh, no bits on there. Yeah, Not the getting better than that. It's difficult for the A to deal, and it could have been a 6-7, six, 6-7 seven, six, seven shape, but that seems unlikely with the number of 7, so that were discarded at the time, and now impossible with the third 7, so that came out. Don't. She pushes to six, deals in the Korok. Yeah, Cheap though, in. just Dora. Non Dora. And this is Korok climbing to 30k. Ooh. Yeah, with a hand like this too, good high pie starting. Not too much value inherent, but I'd say a Richie uh, Pinfu. It's pretty reasonable out of this. Maybe add Tanya, maybe add Itsu, who knows. Yeah, Garrick aiming for Richie Pinfu as well across the way. Sylvie also kind of weak shapes but the big hand is on the left oh yeah yakuhai yakuhai pair one of those being a dora pair honitsu possible dion chantan yeah looking at hanemon or again could even see another baimon would be the third of these two games so far yeah, korak is... is gonna make progress oh. on the hand though now ishantan Hakupon. Yeah, shoot, you're slamming down. Um, notably, could get Itsu to make up the Hanemon if my count is right. No, Itsu would be one off because North is uh, Yakuhai and Dora. So it'd be Itsu, Honitsu, Dora 2. No, never mind. Itsu would still get it. Yep, with the Yakuhai. And the North Pawn would notably only be seven. Right. Boom. Oh. Temp by now on the six pin, two left in the wall. Will be a Mongon. Korak still shoving pin tiles, does not believe there's uh, temp by with, without any overflow. 
work. Definitely has a hand worth fighting for as well. But this would be yeah. There's so many good ways you end up on here. Oh, ho, ho. ooh, yeah, this will be temp by Ricci. So it's five pin versus six nine. So I mean six nine. So it doesn't look the best. It doesn't look the no six nine. So it actually looks pretty good. It's four tiles. So those would look pretty expensive to Korak, but oh, drop the north. Oh wait, you're hoodie ten. Ah. Uh, I might drop six. It's Naka. Yep. There's a question of if you drop the five and try to wait on the Naka Suji. But... That is an interesting idea, but if I'm if I see that five come out, I come know that like that's ten five for sure was something we're fighting for from Shu. Instead, it's going to be Richie Tsumo Pinhu, 13 all, and Korak continues to climb. So, the big question that I had for Shu was, do I go for the Taki on the 5 pin, or do I believe the 6 is a better weight? Um, the value is going to be the same either way, I think. So, Oh, no, it isn't. It's going to be Mangan versus Hanuman. Yeah, you, you kind of have to go for the Hane. Gary, too, just flash opens for North there. I guess just full committal to a Honitsu play on Dora Suit. Yeah, makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's some play. I mean, I guess you could be bluffing like a pretty quick hand or pretty good calls. So just trying to slow oh. the game down. Yeah, especially because it's door suit. That will pose some big questions to Korak. But Korak's fighting for this dealership. There's a chance that Tanyo's, uh, Tanyo Sancho Kodora won. Ishan Den now. Wow, this is coming together fast. But Garrick also drawing pin tiles. Yeah, Garrick keeps drawing them. Toyman Ishan Den. Richie Nomi. Chi. Ah, Chi into Tempai. So no Santoku here, but Tanya Dora one is certainly acceptable. Would put Korak over 30k. And you know Garrett can't use these tiles. Mm-hmm. Uh, six. The two five mon in the wall. She was still Ishantan. Breaks away. Oh, Dora draw for Garrick though. This is Ishantan as well. Honitsu Dora. Oh, but there's the five. Oh, that will end this one. Yeah. We're picking up 35 for the home pot. And the high pot. Akora. Yeah, just showing. It doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to be, you know, four or five hands in a row. Will just be standard efficiency here from Korak. Not much value unless you can build into So Itsu. You do have a Dora, and his dealer, yeah. this little Dora, is going to be worth a lot. But Garrick on the right, that is already Ishanten, but potentially waiting on this Pen 7 So. Yeah, Garrick, known for. Uh, oh, oh, could I just go to force Itsu? Yeah, I was about to say, I could even force an Itsu and just pair up uh, something in the Sozu. Ooh, but Korok is now all of a sudden going to make a play with Pinfu. You know, the Pinch Charm probably getting caught here. Yeah. Makes sense. Cross, Sylvie, not looking too much. Oh, Might get Atmos, reach Pinfu. These draws for Korok have been insane, especially drawing that 7 yeah. mark to actually get the Pinfu, but reaching Pinfu Dora 1. Now, this is another hand with some serious value. Will surpass Garrick. If you can win this, there are four tiles left in the wall. Garrick wants to fight with this hand, though. Yeah, Garrick has to prioritize safety, but definitely wants to get some points back, wants to keep Gorok down. Definitely Garrick wanting to get a first to negate game one, but also more than anything wants to get a good second Reach. here at minimum. Okay, we'll take He's going to reach 2-5. That tile has 5 in the wall, but Sumo. Gorok will get the Sumo after the Chi. Ichi. Oh. It's going to be massive for certain Uda, but no, just 26 all. I say just, and Korak yeah, right. up 10, Still, you know. <laughs> and now Korak's making a play for first. Yeah, this high pie is going to struggle more than the last couple, though. We say that, but these draws pairs, have been pretty challenge. awesome. It's true. We'll see if Korak can put it together again. And Garrick now is just playing for 30k and second place. Unless he can go on a dealer run of his own. It's true. Not the worst. Have a Yaku high open, but the rest of your shape is just not there. 
I mean, with four home ball, you might just want to pick up 2200 and get Korak off the dealership. It's true. Sylvia Cross, though, Ishanten right now. Looking at possible reach Pinfu. But we'll be waiting around the Dora as well. So probably would have to self draw unless Adama comes out here. See. Oh, that's Itsu, actually. Come. I missed the 5P draw. This could be a huge hand. Isn't going to reach because it's a bit too uh, telling, but I mean, Itsu Dora 1, that's 340. That's 52 plus 1200 on the board. That's 64 right there. Yeah, this is pretty massive hand, but the Dora has to come out. Oh, no. <sighs> Chu might want to play that, though. It's too many pairs, Not though. Not playing Honitsu. Let's it. Keeps it in hand. It's going to force it in. Wants says, to maximize value. Yeah, I need value. It's not going to be Oponitsu, but you could, I guess, end up on Dora Tonki? Dora Shop. Yeah, here we go. Dora Tonki. All right, Shu found a way. Now two players waiting on the 8-pin. Garrick will be able to use it if he draws it. Korak right now can retain it in hand as well. Yeah, it's definitely going to be name of the game. Who gets the AP in? And big concern here is that even though it's not Honitsu, Shu's hand really looks like it is. Yeah. So it comes down to who draws it to 8-pin in the wall. Who does the wall favor here? Garrett holding this con. Ooh, and Korak draws around, gets the 8-pin, but is going to have to back up on the hand. Drops 4-pin. Yeah, Korak's just out here. We'll never drop the Dora. So only one left in the wall. For all we know, it is in the dead wall. Come. Here's the con. As Tempo was found, no reach on. Flips the south. <sighs> There's the 6. Pintile super expensive here. Can't even wait switch with that, can you? No, it just backs out. It's fair again. Six looks so bad against you. Yeah, I still be reading the open hand. And that means Garrick's weight is actually dead here. Two pin. At least it's Suji. There's no good call here. Gee! Unless you're trying to shift high tay. Home. Oh. Garrett Gee. Kenpai on Toy Toy 7 pin. Sylvia just playing who who gets high tay. It looks like uh, Garrick will have to deal it out and two is safe. So two players tempai. Notably, Garrett catches up a little bit to Korak here in this five home ba. So this round is crucial. First, dealer, what do you what does it look like? Not the best. I mean, you've got decent shape going in, but uh, you know, Penchan and then some ugly Pinzu shape, not the best. I saw it. It looks like on the uh, right, who was that? Korak? No, not Sylvie. Korak. Sylvie. Uh, had a Yaku eye pair too. Might just be looking to shut things down early. Toyman though. Oh shoo, yeah, killer hand. The problem is it's not. It's fast. It doesn't necessarily have a lot of value. Ah, uh, there's value in Duncan Garrick though. So what do you need for that to happen? Three Han forty. Remember, there's fifteen hundred. So just one Han direct. That's a good point. One yeah. direct would do it. Yeah, so a sneaky Dama Direct could dunk Garrick, or um, you need 1,900, yeah, or four, uh, what is that, 3 Han, 30 Sumo. Mm -hmm. Either of those would dunk Garrick right now. So far, none of those Yaku Hightowers have come out, so if Shu could end up on the Shabo Ricci, that would be quite strong. God, I don't even know if you take it, just because I think your best bet here is just dunking Garrick. I think that's your highest EV play. There is an argument for just reaching for the points raw. Ooh, sick draw for Sylvie. Shabo, but... Holding all these honors. I 
she realizes that the four pin, although it makes a great Diaban shape, is only really useful uh, value wise if you drop one of your pairs, specifically one of your honor pairs. And I think she was aiming for four, five, six Sanchoku and either South or Haku. Boom! It does open up here. Garrick. Dion Shanten. Boom! Second honor call. That's Tempai. There's only two Han, though. That's not enough on Sumo. Yeah, really wants Garrick to drop it. Yeah, pretty much just going to have to. Oh, big uh, Riji for Garrick. And with Four, the Riki stick, that's enough. Any Sumo will do it for Shu. Kind of unlocks his play too as well. To repair for Korak, but it's going to be a 4 7. How do those look? Kind of dead. Uh, fours are pretty dead. Sevens huh. are two in the wall. <laughs> God comes out on that seven. That's definitely never coming out. There are two in the wall though. Korak almost incentivized to Sakagiri this three so in. Sure yeah, very tempting argument. Oh, hard. Oh, 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 huge hand. Uchi, Tsumo, Kifu, Dora. And Uda Chances misses on everything. But now it's, it's Garrick's turn to pull in the 4 and 20. And that will put him into second place. And still the dealer has a chance at first now. This high pie, ugh, it's not the yeah, worst, not but feeling great. But if you get another filling or two like that, you got a standard, decent pinfu. Could even potentially look at like a shabo of nine so west. At some point, uh, with a gonna, reach. Yeah, gonna gonna have to also consider Chanta as an option. Yeah, definitely, you're not feeling great about the Chanta from this position, but I mean, you know, whatever gets the job done, whatever gets another repeat, keeps the game going. If you draw a nine, so I'd strongly consider it. Oh, Garrick just sees the path and goes for it. Oh, Sylvie's already e Shantan, actually. Wow. With San Menchan chance. On a pin food, too, so could fully Dama. Yeah, in a league setting, sometimes you want those points, but with the way this game has gone, I, I can certainly understand just taking the Dama pin food win and, and getting out of here. Actually, oh. Quarax hand looks incredible on the left, too. Richie pin food, Peko chance. With door yeah, acceptance. It's not bad. Garrick, one call away from being Chanta Dora Tanki Shantan. Oh, Tanki she just drew a third Dora. Uh oh. Oh that that kills Garrick's hand. Garrick cannot win anymore. Garrick can on a Chi of the One Mon. I guess if the, Garrick the drops way. the Dora, which would be a read of the century. You you never drop Dora unless you're forced to. And here's the one mon, so I guess it's gonna have to. Wow. You have to, yep. Great play. Although Tuso is also in shoe sand, <laughs> so not exactly fixed your problem. And there's one left though. There's one left. Yeah, there's one left. Sylvia's found Tempai Dama Eat. too. And Quark will take the Richie one, four, pin seven. on the six nine, but the, the nine's dead. Six has only two left of the wall. Shoo, the real opportunity here to finally make up some points. Max efficiency. And there's the two so. No. Oh. Eric. Chanta only is going to pick up 43 with all the home bar. There's seven now. And the Richie stick as well. Oh, and what is this high buy? This is an opportunity to snatch away first. Again, <laughs> like now that there's all this home bar here, like even this weak hand that's like one Han max, maybe two is now worth so much. There's 2,100 on the board. It's incredible. One Han could do it. But Sylvie, another brilliant high pie. The only awkward shape is that Penchon in the upper Monzu, but it is just Ishanten. Uh, sorry, that's Dian Chanten. I want, it, I want these hands to be closer than they actually are here. Boom. Yeah, shoot, Korak. very important. 
importantly benefiting Come. from that direct deal in by Korok last round. Um, now is able to dunk Korok, uh, and probably a little bit easier than yeah. Garrick, maybe. Again, with a home bot. It's a little weird. Yeah, I guess with any... I guess still needs three Han sumo now with the home bot. Uh, in order to dunk Korok. A little bit over three Han sumo. Needs 340 sumo. He shut down for Shu now. Sylvie had dropped the Dora in order to make Tanya a little bit easier. Again, at this point, value almost doesn't matter. It's just, can you win the hand? There's Tempai. 5-8. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only two left in the wall. And notably, Shu got rid of his 8-pin early on. So, less likely to deal in here. Be this is Tempai, we're going to see a Ricci. Kanchan or Shabo? <sighs> that the Shabo's so bad too. You have to though. And that that's gonna make I it difficult for Shu to push this eight or sorry this five pin. And Ipotsumo <laughs> picked the right oh. way. <laughs> Sylvie will shut it down. Reach Ipotsumo Ura for the manga. And the Ura for the manga. That helps Man. Shu out. Yeah, no, that's great for Shu. Korok gets dunked, so is able to save five points. Although, in that quest to save those five points, lost much, much more from Garrick just dragging Shu down more and more. Yeah, this was... But, I mean, a rough game. I mean, game. what are you going to do there? Yeah. I, it was a wild game. I got to say, first place, it seemed like Sylvie's game after the Hanuman Sumo in East 1, and then that dealer run, Sylvie what seemed untouchable but then Garrick made a play to come back until Sylvie won another Mangan. Then Korak made a play for first with some massive Tsumols, but Garrick and all last came right back, matched the attempt, and actually managed to drop Korak down below 30,000 at the end of things. So it'll be Sylvie taking up the plus 45. Uh, Garrick a very nice second, plus 16.3, though I'm sure he wishes it could have been a first. Korak takes yeah. the negative six points. An unfortunate result given uh, the incredible comeback in South 3. And for Shu, it's a negative 55 fourth. But again, a couple unfortunate games here in the series. One player has gotten uh, sunk and the, and the other two, other three have been benefiting. Wild stuff in A1. When all things are said and done, uh, Korak takes a slight positive for these first two games. Garrick and Shu take... Uh, slight negatives. We've got more games to play. And it looks like those the next series isn't going to start for about 20 minutes. So we've got some time. How do you want to fill that? Um. Well, I mean, we could take a little break. Or, I mean, listen. I'm a man. I'm a man who's looking to improve right like many others out there mm -hmm. but the problem is a lot of the time not the best not the best to do it myself so i like to do a bit of log review in order to you know fill things in i think i might have a hot log or two from last week's tenho games a very very interesting table if i can find the logs for it very good i mean so yeah. Who knows? Who knows? You know, might be good to see some of those things that we were seeing today. What? Oh my God! What happened to me last week? Are these the last logs I have? I thought I did good last week. What was going on? Yeah, slash stats has all the all the logs readily available. And typically, see, it's good to pick right one now? where you uh, didn't do so hot. But it could be fun to look at the ones where you just win every hand too. Uh, well, the, oh, yeah, I remember this log. So I think I played this log, right? Let me see if I can pull it. That is that. And then... Yeah, shout outs to Chase for the Armal bot, too. Oh yeah, I mean all of these uh without Chase and, and these bots, this league would be so much more difficult to run. But all these stats and bonus uh things to just make this so much more 
fun. So, doo -doo -doo. Okay, how do you pull up the log? Do I parse? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, we'll do a quick a little log review, and then there are a bunch of games starting at the top oh, of the yeah, hour. There are so five many. series, and we'll, we'll just have to pick one to watch because I think most of them are playing only two games. Um, a lot to choose yeah, from. Everyone plays all at the exact same time, unfortunately. One from B1. Oh, two from I got B2, the, a B3, uh, a C1 stable. Yeah, I got the uh, Tenho link in general. Let me see if I can get Sweet. that. Sweet. I just pass. need to know which player you were. Um, That is a good question. I started... Oh, I started in the pilot seat. Okay. Easy. Then let's go ahead and pull that up. Yeah, before these games start, I will say we definitely want to get to the last hand for this because... Well, I don't think I could have done much else. It was very exciting. As always, we can turn off the walls, turn off the hands, turn off the yeah. weights. Yeah, whenever you're doing log review, you got to make sure it is as close to how you were playing the game as possible. Okay, and if there's any... I know you want to see the last hand. If there's any hands particularly you want to aim for, we can skip through the other ones relatively quickly. Looks like you're playing pretty standard cuts here at the start. Well, that's a nice yep. draw. Not too much going on. Just building up this hand plan draw itself. Five, eight. Oh, that, that's interesting. But we eight. want Ping Fu, and there's a reach on the board. Yeah. So, how are we going to play around this? Do we play around this? Do we just push for full force? Yeah, I think you can push a little bit. I think one so is fairly safe. You see the early two. Uh, yeah. You're thinking you're probably fine with that. We don't really have any Genbutsu tiles anyway. So, other than this two, so yeah. it just kills our hand. Nine. I don't feel great about it. Don't love it. A little risky. I just also play three here. Nine yeah. looks pretty safe to the rest of the board. Still try to push. It's It'll a good Ishan Tenum dealer. The east is is cut twice, so you're not worried that they have Dora in their hand. Don't. Yeah, Probably that too. Out. Low value. And it was reaching Nomi, so as expected, not a lot of value there. And uh, seems like a reasonable push as as dealer with an Ishan Ten for your own hand. Okay, hand number two. <sighs> Small spoiler there, accidental. Two Dora to start, that's pretty nice. Oh yeah, Eat. great hands. Oh, well, Richie. Oh, what's our save tile? Well, we got Genbutsu. Let's see where it goes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, Richie bought some more Kiku Dora. What's there for the Hanuma? On turn three. Turn four. Yeah, very, turn four. Very cool, very cool. All right, so at least we weren't dealer for that. That that was the big brain play to deal into Richie Nomi in the East one. Boom. So that you didn't have to, uh, whoa, pay away a copy. So this is pretty aggressive. You guys have double but... Yaku high, so you're planning on just getting one of those at least. Mm-hmm. Boom. Okay. After this, it looks like a game did just start too. So maybe this, and then we can either come back to this log, because I know games will probably end a little bit earlier tonight, or we can skip ahead to that exciting last hand. Okay, well, I didn't realize that table was even playing, so let's go ahead and skip that last hand, and then we'll hop into that game. Man. This is a very tense situation. You're at 29.4. You so, really yeah. just want one hand to get over 30k, but you have a chance at first, even if you can add to that. East is the Dora. You don't have mm -hmm. any in hand. Great fill. So this is the first real decision. Two so or five pins seem reasonable. Two so natural cut. Yeah, I'm trying to keep options open. A lot of Sanshoku options on the Monzu, so I kind of want to option select for both of those our goal is mongon for first but we need any 1k here uh, in order to get positive points which is very very valuable okay so you're holding the five pin in case you end up using this as a sequence instead of a pair i guess yeah you also have e2 draws and stuff around the pin zoo which okay. does give you more value so i like keeping that there oh that's a great fill which floater do you hold you can cut five pin now and this is very similar to that hand you had in East 1 where you've got that mm -hmm. pickle looking shape, but and you decide to just commit to it. In this situation, because I'm desperate to win the hand, I think I still like holding the... You might not keep the safe tile. Right, and if I do end up drawing yeah. into the, the Mon shape and waiting on the 1-4, if I've cut 2 and 3, the 1-4 looks really strong. That's fair. Another 1-pin comes out. This, this weight is getting worse. Oh, and there's that, that 8 that would have been so sweet. Yeah. 
Ricci. That would have definitely been the uh, optimal thing, but now Ricci comes out from dealer, and I know there's at least one more hand after this, so, uh, or at least I think there's only one more hand after this, so I'm fine kind of passing up. I'm not in love with Rachel going, but dealing in here and being up to fourth is definitely not what I want to happen. Okay, so it's going to be a defensive play. Yeah, but I think that's my main goal, not yeah. dealing in. Oh! Oh! Hello! <laughs> Oh man. What? Fun times. <laughs> Fun times. Look at that. Yeah, look at no no no. Go back to the draw really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look at that. Look what? at that discard pile. What? You didn't read Shinitsu Tenpai from that? Okay, okay, okay. Nothing. 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 A little suspicious. Okay, that's normal. Oh, the second one piece was super delayed, otherwise it would have been more suspicious. Wow, these draws are incredible. Uh, and you'll notice too when the hand goes in. Yeah, good folds <laughs> from me too. Two five seven would have dealt it on the four. Ah, uh, yeah. If I uh, would have pushed, and that was you a good just push the eight. Wow. So now notice too what happens at the end of that if you hit the. Does it come up? Yeah. Now I drop below into fourth from a very comfortable 29 oh hit. no that's tragic that there's nothing you can do about that that is just yeah. tragic at least that's when i saw and i said you know what this is a don't demote season and yeah. that's okay when, when you're <laughs> when you get a, a 19 point fourth place though uh, like below yeah. 20 points you know that it probably wasn't your fault i i know but that i wanted a second so bad <laughs> i just watch epod sumos all the time very... Just watching Epod Sumos left and right, can't pull my hands. I got cheap deal ins, I'm playing well, and then that happens. It's the name of the game, though. All right, well, we do have a, a match that is underway, so we will hop over to the C1 matchup and uh, wonder if you can go ahead and adjust the names as we are already underway. Yes, of course. Looking at the players, it's Tyler, Ray, Scott, and Michael. In that order around the table, Tyler, our first dealer, opening up on the tune, has a pair of doors. Well, looks very exciting for a dealer, 5,800 points. On the right, Ray's got multiple pairs, four of them right now, but can open up for perhaps a toy toy. Across the way, more pairs. Another group of you know, four could be a chi toy, as there's less value in opening here. Uh, let's see, on the left... Michael with only two pairs, but the shapes are very awkward. So dealer a significant advantage in this one. Could even chi this, but declines. And the big question here is, do we have a head? What is going to be our head? Currently, it's looking like the 4-7 mon, but that is a little bit awkward. Oh, now we have a backup. Yeah. We could take the Nobaton, but instead, sticks with the 4-7. Maybe this is a little bit of Dora Greed. Wants Makes sense. The I mean, it's not terrible here. I don't hate it. It does get you more value there. Um, and it is the lower division, too. It's C1, so you're expecting players to may not necessarily be uh, as comfortable kind of with getting used to when people are Tenpai, what to look out for, um, very avoiding of Dora, things like that. So... Depending on how experienced uh, Spires is, I think that's Som, uh, who's the fourth player that hasn't quite updated for the stats. Could just decide, you know what, let's greet a bit. That's how you're supposed to play the lower division anyway. Very aggressive, very oh. value uh, plays. Yeah, and the seven one actually looks pretty decent oh. with all the sixes being cut. Little do you know, oh, Ray's actually mind. holding it, and oh, there's Don't. a seven. Sorry, is it someone else? Is there a wrong name in there? Oh, there totally is. Oops. Let's get the right name in there. There we go. And it's Tyler from Rocky Mountain Mahjong, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, and Tyler doing very well this season. So, as you said, maybe one of the more experienced players recognizes that door might flow out of the hand naturally and Ooh, a very scary hand coming together for the dealer yeah oh goodness look at all these pairs that could turn into onko yeah tyler is looking to pull up 
as one could have called that i don't hate it as a toy toy although seven on five peen doesn't look great with dora donkey right and chi toys is so totally value with the dora donkey it's very fair ray is well on the right with a an awkward looking dora could end up with dora yeah. donkey as well I even just want to drop it. I mean, could also open up and then try to make like a North uh, Fukon. Oh. It's not the worst play in the world, but may also just find value in getting Tyler off dealer to cut Dora early, just play shape. Right now, you know, it's a little less efficient to cut the nine pin because you lose the five pin drop. But right now the four pin is mm -hmm. acting as your pair anyway. So you don't even hate playing in this uh, just in case you draw the Dora and you can swap your pair out. Yeah. Now dropping the pair, this is where you lose a little bit of efficiency here, but this is really a commit to try to use the Dora. And speaking of Dora, we have Chi oh. Toy Shanten now. Uh, now I'm sure Tyler would be willing to open up for Toy Toy. Yeah. It might have to be a 5 pin or a 7 Mon though. There's already one 9 out and that's a bit tough. I'm not even feeling like the, the five pin will be hard to come out. Look at the fours. It's true. You see three sixes. You've got three or three pins of your own. Extremely cheap here. So yeah, if I see really any pull, I'm willing to take it. So I'm looking to try to find Tempai. Still Rianjan 10, but maybe flirting around with 1, 2, 3, Sanshoku. Come. There's definitely path. Oh, There's the Ray Kong. gets close. Kana the north. Hold on. That flips the 6 pin to be door. That doesn't help anybody, though. Except for potentially Tyler. Ray found a backup pair as well. Tempai on the 8 pin. So this is Chun, Dora 1 with tons of Fu. The extra Khan. It acts as basically another Han. Yishan 10 on the left. Oh, there's Yeet. Dora 2. It's Chi Toy. Going to wait on the 2 pin, yeah. which looks very strong here. Looks so good. It's completely cobbed from your side. It doesn't look great for anybody else to drop, but you know no one's going to be able to use it unless it's pair or uh, triplet. With, with Chi Toy Dora 4, I am very willing to dava. But. Yeah. But. The 2 pin's going to come anyway. You're going to get some yeah. bad chances. So we're looking at... You get two of them. Ah, uh, Hanemon. You know, whatever, whatever flip, you're going to get two. And if you flip on both uh, Ura, you actually get some Baimon. Yeah. <laughs> Just the Hanemon, though. It is 18,000 points, though. And we're, we might be in East 1 for a while. Yeah, in the dealer seat, you are more than fine with that. Hatsu available to be called whenever Michael dropped it on the left. Then you could just work your way to well, Hatsu only, probably. On the right, Ray wants to draw a Dora. Boom. Seven mod would really fix one of the shapes because all of the shapes are, are very bad here. Just grab a nice seven, so that's a start. Across the way, Scott. Again, another player with this Pen Shan slash Kanchan on the door that's going to be uh, difficult to fill. On the left, maybe this is the best hand to compete with what dealer is putting together. There's some questions here. Does it want to be Tanya? Does it want to be Haku only? Perhaps there's a Honitsu here. You'd have to drop the door for that. If it comes early enough, again, if you draw like good enough Pinzu shape, specifically uh, 16, maybe even two of them, then I don't hate dropping 7 8. Tyler drawing very well, though. He shunt that now. And even though you have the two pairs, the 5 Ma and the 5 So pair, you can easily switch that around. Yeah, upgrade either, either of those to Rian Men. Could even accept Dora on the uh, just dropping a 5 mon. That's one of the benefits of a Shabo, a Shampoon weight here. Um, for example, if you have the choice between taking a Shampoon and a Kanchan, it can be a difficult decision. And there are a lot of factors that go into it. But one of the things to consider is the upgrade chances. If you take the Kanchan, say you have something like a... a, a Oh my. Three, five. What are Zom's draws? Wow. 
Ooh. That is a toy toy route too. That is greedy for Zom. Yeah, I mean you could have played oh. the Honitsu. Could have been Honitsu Tempai here, but instead chooses the Haku Dora route. With uh, chance that to upgrade is... to Toy Toy still. Yeah, but that's still only five, right? Six. I guess it's six if you uh get Ron on oh. the seven mon. Oh, there it is. Toy Toy Dora Taki. Yeah, but now it's still it's only five. Honitsu would have gotten you the same way. And you didn't have to open up for it. Well, Haku Hypothetically. Toy Toy Door 2 versus just Haku Honitsu. So this technically oh, is better. A good point. But you have to get the Dora. And they're all in the wall amazingly. Somehow everybody's gonna be able to play them though. Ray nice. and Scott both playing Penchons. Tyler could just switch to a Kanchan, which is pretty likely if Dora's drawn. Tempai for dealer. And an interesting question is if you see the seven pin or eight pin as Michael, do you con? I think you do. Choose oh. a little bit more value. Switches to now Honitsu. The toy toy. Now this is the Hanemon. Oh, Need to toy toy Haku? Nope, nope still nope. just five. I forgot that uh we were including two Dora in that in the last hand. Yeah. So, yeah. But maybe maybe it's more likely that a three pin comes out than a Dora. Yeah, when you cut four or five like that too. I might not read that as uh Well this is a desperate super wage, need. but it'd be Hudi Ten, so Yeah. Declines against the five, six, seven, eight shape. Oh, oh, tragedy. There's backfire. Yeah. Still Yishanten for Ray. Unless she's going to be able to switch to a Tanya now. Still Tyler looking for the 3-6 mon. Still a lot in the wall. I guess there's three. Much more than the, the one that yeah. Michael's looking for. Oh, and there's a six. Yeah, and they'll just flow out. So only one Han here, but we kind of expected at the start of this hand that Tyler would have the advantage. Yep. And now we'll see. Just with a fast hand like that, hard to compete against it, even though it took a while to get the uh, the good weight out. This high pie is looking a little bit more challenging to put together quickly. You know, fast open routes. Yeah, really just looking to hit a nice pinch oh. on there, crunch on there. On the right, Ray, with potential Itsu in the Pinsu. And a Dora in hand. Across the way, Scott can open up on the east. And look, Scott wants points, but with Tyler be being the dealer here, you, things have been uh, a struggle. So maybe you just take your 1,000 and and get him off. Michael, very exciting hand on the left. Chanta with Yakuhai and potentially a Dora. That yeah, would be very, very good points. Although it's still going to be kind of hard with the shape up. Need an 8 so, and then you either need to draw a 9 pin or, like you said, draw Dora. And the fill-in for it. Lots of ties will improve Michael's hand, though. Eight mon being one That's of true. them. Ooh, could even drop two p. No, mm -hmm. can't greet Sanchoku. Never mind. Still, two pin's probably the right draw there or drop, but right. Because if you do draw the eight pin, you want to give yourself the chance to incorporate the Dora. Yeah. You can just swap away from one of these shapes, whichever one you feel is worse. Probably the the mon penchon. Yeah. T. But you're definitely just going to take the Tenpai. Tyler, uh, going to be e Beyond Chanten, but with very good shape now, trying to make an attempt on a Pinfu Tanya, or a Tanya Pinfu. Big question is what happens to this Dora? You had a player call their third tile and then drop the nine pin. You might be a little bit suspicious about the eight pin being a pair in that hand. Ray, in the meantime, finds Tempai for Tanya. Uh, Tanya door one, waiting on the door indicator, doesn't feel very good, so perhaps that's why we're holding the Dama here. Oh. 
What do you feel about the Dama? Would you take the Ricci? Oh, rewarded. Rewarded. This is why we Dama'd. Just draw another Dora. And now the question is, do you hold for 3, 4, 5, Sanjiku, or 4, 5, 6? Actually, just takes the Ricci. I think you just reach it there, yeah. That's Tanya, Dora 2, reaches the 4th. It's sad when you see the 7-pin immediately come out, but... That's okay, this was this is better value anyway. Yeah. And you're figuring the 7 doesn't come out if, uh... No. It doesn't... Oh! And Tyler reads a little bit, doesn't read it on the Suji, and... Ray extremely rewarded, gets Epods and the Dora from the Hanemon. Wow. Big 12,000 points. And that means Very that... Huge swing. It, almost first place. Tyler had such an advantage after the East 1 dealership that he still is in the lead by 400 here. All right, high pie. Ray, two Dora. Great start, but how do you complete the hand? You don't really want to do Cheetoy here. Tanya is a little bit tricky with a 7-8 shape and the south pair. It looks like it might be leaning towards Cheetoy. Of course, you'll just play efficiency. Home. Oh, Toy Toy. I see. Hey. Very clear. Atta girl, Ray. The DC Toy Toy special. Yeah. Right there. Does all of DC <laughs> just decline Chi Toy whenever possible? We do hate Chi Toy around these Home. parts. Oh, and that 5 Mon was going to be one of the hard oh, ones was, to get. Oh, and got 5 Mon. Yeah, now pretty set. Has to get 5, so not feeling great about it, but has other good pair candidates like 7, 8, and uh, East to try and fall back on. Ooh, one so pair would have been great there. Yeah, but you see, or maybe not as much with exactly. Tyler being cheats <laughs> away with it. We it. can see that probably was a totally fine cut. I mean, imagine yeah. drawing double East here, but actually Scott's holding that. Mm -hmm. Scott could try to greet a Chanta here, but I don't. I don't know if I like that very much. You could start with the West and. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Nine pin feels like a small error there. Maybe he could have ran out of time or two. Yeah. Across the way, Michael has an Anko, but these shapes are very. Difficult to, to use. So many of these honor tiles still in hand. Yeah, probably just got to start cutting. You're a little bit worried about dealer across, but with that form on, I'm not buying that it's a uh, Honitsu. So I'm not super worried. I think the 5 pin does lose a lot of efficiency, though. I'm sure there's a lot of concern about where these honor tiles are. Yeah. I mean, again, honor theory, baby, 10%. Should never be that concerned. That 10% really hurts, but, you know, all you gotta do is miss oh. it. Tyler on the left with the Chito Ishanten, but now drawing Anko, and this is now Su Anko Ishanten. It's true. Uh -oh. Although one so is dead, and 6p is one chance. Tumon also only has one, one remaining. chance. Yeah. Oh. Not looking great. Two pin would have would have been a great switch off of this one. So, God, even opening up for a toy toy here feels terrible. Not if you're, I mean, if you're Tyler, you can't see what we see. So you're still thinking that uh, you have double two for not one so, but this late in with the dealer having called twice, you might just have to. Take whatever call you can get. Yeah. Might even just back off and go for a backup she toy. Trying to hit a late pair for Tempo. Looks like Scott's aiming actually for Mon Honitsu. That would explain the, the pin cuts. Yeah. I do think that 19 was a timer though, because the next turn they immediately dropped the West. So it makes me think oh. it's time to ran up, Sumagiri happened, and then cut the west and then try to cut away from that 7-8. Didn't want any free 10 problems. Mm, I see. Well, let's get the east call. Drops the 6, so losing the Yankan shape. But perhaps there's just a, a defensive play against what Ray's putting together. Michael, in the meantime, will call into Tempai, but it doesn't have a Yaku attached to it, and the tune would allow Scott to find Tempai should it come out. Ray is currently no 10 on just 5, so... Well, is that 5-2? Uh, 
And now we Ooh. have the toy switch. There we go. Huh. That matters. Although oh, no, Force is super dead. No. Oh, that's not good. Ah, throws it out there. That toy toy door hurt. three. And Ray, another twelve thousand points, jumps into first. Let's go, Ray. <laughs> No commentary by itself. Yeah, absolutely none whatsoever. <laughs> we, you can't hear anything. It's not like we have a DC commentator in the booth. Of course not, yeah. But yeah, big, big win for Rain. I was just going to say, at the end of that hand, both of the five so were the wall. No one had drawn the Dora. And it turns out one was just the uh, dead wall uh, Rinshan tile. Rinshan by proxy for Ray there. This hand... No, no clear path. Does draw a door, though. Maybe that's a start to some value. Yeah, I mean, I think here you're really just either trying to end up on that shab of West 1-pin or just playing a standard pinfu. The right Scott. Looking at a Ricci Dora 3. Now that's some serious value. Yeah, that's cannons locked and loaded. Michael across the way, holding this 8-mon. Now draws a 7, so there's Sontrico available. 5, uh, sorry, 8. Six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, depending on how you draw into it. And, and double options with the uh, Sozu there. Yeah, exactly. And the Pizu. Floating, floating it all. Now the choice is clear. Yeah. You could just cut the six so immediately, unless you you realize it's going to be a Nobaton shape mm. and drop the the Penchon. I actually think the Penchon cuts quite strong there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think the Penchon's more efficient, but you have more of the time. You're not going to end up on Sanchoku. I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference now that I think about yeah. it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, two pins got three out. You're never playing that as a meld, so. Yeah, I think. I think that one's fair. The one pin as a final weight seems very strong. The six pin is probably yeah. being held, held not because it's a Novaton shape, because you really don't want to draw the nine pin, uh, but rather yeah. because you can maybe incorporate a Dora somehow. Mm -hmm. For example, you draw five pin, cut one pin, and then you pair something up in the Sozu, cut five, three, or four, three, something like that. Yeah. Ray is currently Ishan 10 on G Toy. Um, she honestly might still call this Toy Toy, knowing Ray. We did have the one pin get passed, though. That's true. But, uh, we're... oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking that would just come out. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, G-Toy. You have E-Pico backups and other stuff, too, so you don't really have to have to commit yet. And yeah, I you think... You have Double West is pretty safe. Double One Pin is pretty safe. I think Ray is not planning on this ending up being a G-Toy. If you get Tempai, you'll take it, but you really just want to draw something like this and now be Ishan Den for E-Pico Door 1. Yeah... And if you draw probably another uncle be... here, you probably don't even take the Ricci. No, no. Oh, this is the ideal draw. Oh, yeah. Gotta do Dora that. Into hand. Ricci, Dora 1, waiting on 4 mon, 7 mon, where 7 mon is he, Peiko. Tyler might be in a little bit of trouble here. You shunt then, but has to drop the 4, most likely. Can she this? To break your butts. Declines, though. Would have had to drop the five mon for Tempai there. Eat. We see a chase from Scott. Ricci door three. Now this is the hand with some serious value, but it's on hell weight pay. It's like a pseudo pay tonky, I guess. They do say pay tonky is best tonky. We'll see if this works out in Scott's favor. Oh, there's the north. Oh, it's drawn. I mean, it. it yeah, I would my yeah. Gonna throw it out. It's, so hard yeah, to nothing not. better. I'll take that 10 out of 10 times. You just hate it. You throw it into the Dora 3 hand. Would have actually been cheaper to deal into Ray there. I mean, if you deal into Peiko, it would have been just as expensive. Uh, it would have been Ricci, Dora, e Peiko. It would have been, yeah, I guess it is dealer. So I wonder what the... Uh, three hands the same there. way. I I forgot to look. I'll I it. completely missed. I know I know one was hit by uh, Scott. I did I, not miss which one. So potentially even more uh, deadly of a hit if you dealt into the dealer there. But 
God will happily take the manga and move back to the positives, even if you're still way behind in the in the game. You now have a target and Michael to try to surpass in points, and also it's just a good mental feeling to be over zero. Yeah, definitely. Even if it's like a 1k difference, it feels so much better not to see that minus before your points. Looking around the table, there's some very interesting hands. Uh, of course, Dealer with a very standard Richie Pihu potential Sanshoku, if you can draw the 2 yeah. on the 1, right. 2, 3, not looking terrible. Could be a Ohonitsu or Chinitsu play. Let's see if Michael even tries to open up here for it. Could Chi, chi the 7, 8, 9. Oh, this Chi yep. is okay too. Does commit. Um, I don't hate it. You have options with the nine. If you could find another seven out for the chi, uh, you still keep your honors. It's not the worst thing in the world. Eight. If you get the eight, then you can like pair it up. Scott doesn't hesitate. Takes the Richi and might get rewarded for this. There's a two, so that's got to leave Michael's hand. Tyler across the way was really looking forward to having door three, but just might be out of time here. Pulling into Tempai would involve dealing in. Home. Yep. And that will happen. Makes sense for Zom to take it. It's and it is Nomi. just reaching Nomi, so 2k. But that does, it is a direct hit on the player that Scott is targeting. So it's almost like a 4,000 point swing that, that's really optimistic if you're sitting in Scott's seat. This high pie, though, less optimistic. Yeah, this one's going to be a long road Boom. to uh, get past post. Especially when Zom's opening up right away for Yakuai, and with three Ryanmans to boot with it, I'd say it's just a matter of time. Although, that is the fourth pair for Scott, so one more drawn, and then another route opens up for winning this hand. Boom! Oh, just opening up, so a toy toy play. Toy toy, it could even back up as uh, Tanya, it would be very reasonable too. Will depend on the draw. Ray is Ryan Shan. No, Ishan Ten with that draw. No, Ryan Shan Ten still has yeah. a couple options to boot. Tyler across, just playing very standard. Not too much going on. These definitely look like slow builders. Outside of the open hand, of course, which is now Ishan Ten. Tyler, with the two Dora, definitely has some incentive to push hard against this open hand. Mm-hmm. Awesome incorporate it again. There's not really much you can do to push against it. You kind of just got to wait until you start hitting some draws. Now, if you're Ray here and you draw 6-pin or 9-pin, well, hold that thought as there's Tempai on the right. For Haku only, two Mon and one Sos the way. There are actually none left in the wall, but Scott might be dealing very soon. And there's a con chance. Ray yeah. could take it. This is Ishan then. Oh, I said drop oh, the six. Great hold. Yeah, I like that hold a lot because you really want another shape. Even like just an excuse to kill out the Penchon, I think is really strong here. Yeah, and this was going to ask you if you take even take the Ricci if you drew the six pin or nine pin, because I think I like <sighs> just cutting the Penchon and holding that six Mon as a good floater. Yeah, I think if I see another 6 so out and then there's like a reasonable Kabe chance for uh, 7 so, then I might be incentivized to take the reach. But without that, I, I do not like the reach at all there. Not a fan of just waiting on that punch oh, on. Oh, this is an interesting choice. Nobitan or do you Eat. like the 1-1-2 shape? What involves dealing in? 2-3. Boom. Yeah, I think that Nobitan is better there, but... Just so happens that two mon is being waited upon. Yeah, it turns out that the the one 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 two wait was terrible because Ray had all the threes and the other players combined to hold all of the twos. So technically, the the wait the choice with more weights in the wall was taken, but that did deal in. Yeah. And maybe you don't want to be waiting near the Dora is another justification for taking that particular Richie. And maybe a third justification. I don't know if Tyler is a Sanzo cultist, but could have played into the game as well. Oh, wow. Look at this fill for Dealer. He shunted in already. Could call the Haku down for a cheap hand, but... If my shape was any better, anything other than this Penchon, I might pass the first Haku. 
Yeah. It definitely does feel nice to do. Okay, shapes here for Tyler on the right. There's a Dora. This is technically Ishanten, but you're going to end up on a bad weight if you take it. Across the way, Ray. Interesting little hypa here. The Dora draw means that we're probably no longer going Honitsu. So just going to be standard efficiency here on the left. Ooh. Eat. Eat Tempai. I was about to call the Ishanten, but. Is oh, that 7 8? Yeah, kind of a shape. But. You're not feeling as bad because all the nine pins are gone. It's going to be difficult yeah. for players to use the eight. Richie Tanya door is certainly strong. Boom. Michael will open up and deal in Boom. as he just went up by there. So Richie Tanya Dora and no Uda. More but again, 5200. This battle between third place and fourth place now very real. Yeah, still only in South 1 as of now, too. So still a full round to play after this. A lot of time to trade back and forth. Swap places, especially before final dealerships are had. Although Tyler is going to be making the attempt now. Uh, we'll still have one opportunity to trade big points with Ray in the form of Ray Oyakabari during her dealership. But Tyler really wanting to make a splash now. Has a reach pinfu. Probably hoping for a Dora or a Reach Dora, hoping for like a Pinfu too, but mm -hmm. not in love with the shape here. Maybe just looking for Tanyao and dropping like nine so early might be the way to do it. Yeah, most of the players here with a Dora are trying to make use of it. The hand on the left drops a pair. That is some Tanyao greed if I ever saw it. Because Michael yeah. really wants to use this Dora. And so is comfortable saying, I, I don't need this nine mon pair. I can draw into pair later. And it might end up mm -hmm. being a Nobiton shape uh, with a three, four, five, six. I might just end up Dora Tonki, and that's perfectly acceptable too to me. Oh, but this yeah, six mon draw. that green for a little bit of value too. I mean, you're off, again, you're off dealer, so you're not super focused on winning the hand. You really, you would like some value more, even if it's a bit slower. Would you say that as a, uh, Dealer, you're more seeking the wrench on than the value, and as a non-dealer, you're looking more for value than the win. Oh, absolutely. Because again, like Boom. as we saw Korak do the last time, you win four or five times in a row, it's ten thousand points no matter what, because you're always guaranteed two K. But on the other hand, where it's like not your incentive, the round might not even advance, you're more likely to want to back off and play safer. If you're going to go for a hand, usually I think there's a lot more incentive to make it worth your time and effort and safety sacrifice ooh, to do so. Ooh, ooh. Con? Con. Oh, right, does Con. Hits door. big, too. It's Toy Toy Dora 2 now. That might make the hell wait a bit tougher on the west, but still have the one-so there. Uh, especially because you know it's a Toy Toy. It could be, mm -hmm. even though it's once Cod, it could be more of a difficult push. But the one so. I mean, it could be a tune here with like a weird Tonky, but right. then that Tonky is still probably the West anyway. So, I mean, it could have been. Doesn't exactly change the math. Oh, there's the draw Michael was looking for. Yeah, you're going to take that. Michael will check the East too. Michael has had opportunities check. to take Ishanten and has declined them all trying to force this Dora. Oh no. Oh, and there's the one ass that might do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. If you're really it looks pretty good. Uh, you realize it looks really bad. But even then, even if you know it's bad, you're in a pretty desperate situation and you've got a good hand of your own, so it's certainly understandable to try to push it out. Yeah, plus you figure as long as it's not double west as oh. part of that hand, it's probably still fairly exactly. cheap. And well, Ray did manage to pull in a bit of a monster there. Up to 60,000 points. This is an incredible game so far. And still a dealership to go. And look at this high pie. It's going to be Honitsu Dora Yakuhai for another Mangan. Yeah, Mangan as of now. And it's Dora suit too. So you could pull in more is what I would say if we couldn't see two others already out on the table. But, you know, still pretty good. Tyler, the left, has a competitive hand, though. Yeah, I'm probably looking for a reach pin, too. 
Could even maybe just go for a uh, Honitsu as well in the door suit. Ishanten right now. Who is the next best hand? Probably the hand on the right. That is Ishanten as well, but just not, not much value. We'll just smash the Richie. And this seems like a very tricky wait, but the, actually the five mods actually going to be the most likely going to be the deal and tell from Ray. Mm -hmm. Oh, the nine cells even worse. Wow. It's going to be pots. Yeah, nine cells coming oh. out of pods. Yeah, Ray had That's no choice. That's fair. The amount of times you get hit on that. Ah, oh, and the Ura for the Mongon too. Say so win a Mongon, you deal into Mongon. That's Mahjong. Happens. I mean, you're still you have a very comfortable lead right now, so you're not super worried. Yeah, you're you're just never expecting the Suji trap like that. It's it's so sneaky. Yeah, especially on the terminal and roll row one, it's like the odds of it are so so low. And the odds of it having value even with reach E pods are like almost nothing. Scott now as the dealer great high pie looking for a Richie Pinfu. There's a world where you can build into a one, two, three, or two, three, four Sanchiku as well. On the mm -hmm. right, there's gonna be Shanten for Rich Pinfu as well. Boom. No door in the hand across the way. Look at those otter tiles. Pulling of the nine pin. Yeah. Tyler has found the path to value. It's gonna be Honitsu. Unfortunately, none of those otter pairs are Yakuhai pairs. So maybe Bakahon. But it will give you some points in advance of the dealership. And even if you end up with a second place, uh, that's still quite strong. Ray on the left with just a very slow looking hand. Two pairs, two penchons. <laughs> Actually, the shapes kind of mirroring each other. Holding out for Itsu, though, I like the, the thought here. It's very likely we're going to cut Home. two and five mon in the future. Maybe just the one two at this point. Now you have Sancho in both suits, but sticking with the Sozu, as Tyler calls it to Tempai. As is, this weight is just on the six pin, only one left in the wall, but it's super easy to upgrade this shape. Even here, pull in the north, and you can wait two five yeah, pin. The Fu upgrade, too. Yeah, a little surprised that we don't see the call there. And now switches to the shop wait. Oh, it's going to come out, too. Yeah. Don't. So, so Tyler was just waiting for Ron. Didn't, didn't want uh, Tsuo. Yeah. All right, Honitsu only found with the extra foo as well for 2,600, and that will send us into all last. Michael has had a couple of unfortunate needs. deal -ins, So, yeah, really, really looking for some wrench on here. Gee. Mm hmm. Although Tyler is looking to just end that straight up right away. Already Ishan 10, potentially even waiting on a Shabo with an honor tile. Yeah, there is potentially Dora too. A theoretical manga on here. Oh, yeah. You, you could even build Holitsu out of this, although I think if you draw the Shah, you'll just take the tempo by. Of course, Tyler is tr shooting for first. Yeah, that's true. Mongon doesn't quite do it. Ooh, tempting to go 5 so 5 so right here, but plays it patiently. What's interesting is what if you build the Mongon, but try and have somebody throw in a stick? No, even with a stick, it's not quite enough. You're I think still with 300 a stick, it short. Enough, actually. Is it? This is tempi, but it's a very awkward tempi. I almost prefer 5 to 5 so even there. Khan? Khan flipping oh. for a door. Well, that's how you get Mongon. Okay. Man, Steve League is full of some absolute villains right now. No, wait. What is, is going on? That's like the, the second con I've seen. Yeah, second con is the door for that we've seen today. Sylvie did it A1 first. Now there's a switch. Do you take the Entotsu or take the Diamond? Chooses Diamond here. Three, six, Mon. Could have also been five, eight. Importantly, this has nine, five, to be so. Sumo or Direct, if Eat. I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's a Richie stick, so <laughs> all the things we were theorizing about have come to play. Six. No, now it's still 100, 300 under, right? Because it's see. six. You go to 52 on Ron. You go to 53, six. Yeah. So it still has to be Sumo or Ron on Ray. See, Mongon is 10,000 point swing. Mongon Sumo. 
So it would be yeah, Mog on Sumo would do it, yes, but on Ron, on Michael or Scott would right, be right. 300 under. That's a big deal. There's the Dora. Oof. Ray, can you defend here? Seven pin. Found the safe tile to the Mongon that's showing. It's almost better to deal into the Richie here than the hand that you know yeah. is a Mongon. I think that for sure, because you also have a chance just to not give up enough points to Scott. Ray's actually with uh, double other. era. It's true. Might check eight now. It's Suji to both players. Starts with the two. Also Suji to both. Two. Con. Con. Oh, and do the three. Don't and then we oh. the three because it's Hanuman. And oh, is enough the now. oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh. Another reach shot by Scott Poxy. goes into fourth with oh. that two. Oh no. That's tragic for Scott. Oh my god, what a swing and Ray's chipped out. Oh it's, uh, Tyler steals away the first plate. What a wild game. None of these positions were safe until the final hand, and Tyler will take the first place plus forty two point six. A very strong second place for Ray, but you expect when you earn 53900 that you're going to be getting a first place in your game. Yeah, that's tough. Michael was probably feeling really sad that on his dealership, there was a con into Fordora followed by a Ricci. Um, ended up turning out great. You you lost 29 points, but it could have been much worse. And Scott, very unfortunate to con into the deal and tile. Actually, that is the second con into deal and tile that Scott uh, had in this game. So minus 42 points. For Scott here, and we will update the standings to see Ray climbing into second place overall in this division. Very strong performance from Ray here in C1. And Tyler advancing as well, almost into a playoff spot for a chance to make it into B3 next season. Yeah, still a lot of time to, who knows, with how... Uh... Things will shift down, especially with so many A1 players. Like normally, I think how it is is uh, the top of the league has some spots that trickle down pretty heavily. But I know the top of the league is going to be overinflated for the first time I think ever starting next season. So really, who knows how that'll affect uh, lower spots in playoffs? I know last time we had them, it ended up being like what every person playing in playoffs got auto promoted even though they didn't know it until after the series uh, At least there was one bonus, but yeah. Yeah. Now, there are a lot of games that are going on right now. They just played, started game number four. This table did. But also, multiple tables around the league have also started their series. Do you want to stick with this one or switch to another table? Ah, oh, man. There are so, so many excited games going on. There is a double Adam game. Not quite the double Eric end game that we're <laughs> looking for, but... There's a double there. Let's see who's far in. Because I know with all these games, could be that one is thinking about wrapping up and starting again. Could also be that one is just barely, has had a crazy start. How about this one? Ray? Uh, let's con see. the Dora? Or conned into Dora? I know, con the Dora. What is happening? What? <laughs> it's Tempai on this ridiculous... Shabo. Dude, what? The, okay, yeah, so I guess we're staying here. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. I, I, I just I opened up this game. I saw this hand. I said, we have to look at this. We have oh, to see yeah. if Ray can what? pull this off. I'm glad one DC person's blessed. I'd like <laughs> to think that that fourth I got from Peter hitting by Monsumo no overflow was, uh, was trickling down to C1 League. Expect one of us in the wreckage, you know. And the big question for everyone at the table is, how Ooh, do you play Tyler's around this? Off. You know Tyler's packing off. Yeah, you... <laughs> Tyler doesn't want any piece of this. It's a mongon that you're going up against. Could be more because these are some pretty easily usable Dora. Tiles. I mean, that's five on board, yeah. And you have two Dora chances, eight and a three. We know that it's not, but you're assuming there's at least one. Like Michael has Dora three here. And, yeah, it's true, though. When your hand's that big, too, you might want to push a little bit more into it. 
door of four technically, but just throws it out. Ooh, checks it. Says, That's fair. I think when it's five four, most if, recent indicator. If you're waiting on a bond tile with those cuts, uh, you just you know what got me. Yeah, and you know, funny enough. <laughs> yeah, just you don't say. For the sick. <laughs> oh, two, I mean, two, if it comes two. into Michael's hand. No, sticks with it. I'm almost worried about shooting to Ray. That would be the six on. Right. The oh, there's another door. Tempite. Ricci on the six pin was amazing with a three pin already cut from Ray. Oh, but Tyler's got them all. But Tyler might just have to throw it defensively. Because you want to defend against both players. What's safe to both? You have the six pin for now. Yeah. Okay, now you have two pin. And Ray backs off of Tempai. I think that's smart. Forso looks really bad here, and you do not see a ton of Dora. You can you easily... see two, you see... Or I guess you only don't see six, which isn't terrible with three. Ray Although you do have double error indicator. Yeah, there is a path back into Tempai for Ray. Chun looks bad as well. Yikes. Yeah, Chun does not look great. All right, another two comes out. Tyler's still okay. looking for save tiles here. But might be suspecting that Ray's backing out with the Shaw Shaw cut. Uh, five's Cobbid. So yeah, not the worst. I guess two more save tiles for Tyler to play out. Eat. Oh, Scott's going to fight. Richie Nomi. Probably going on the Shabo. Oh, Does take. Oh, it. oh, and it How? goes in. I know we gotta check Uda. It's Richie Nobi. Oh, uh, Richie Potts and Buds. <laughs> Only one Uda. A single or a. We, we got one. <laughs> we managed to find it. There were two players with Dora 4, and yet the Richie, Richie Nomi picks up 3 Han in the end. All right, Scott, dealer now. Hatsu pair. There's a Dora. Could end up being a Honitsu. A couple different options here. Michael, some interesting shapes in the singleton of the Dora. Across the way, Ray. Uh, awkward shapes. Another lone Dora. And those might start to filter out now that Scott's dropped his. On the left, looks like a, a standard Tanya or. Re, re, yeah, it's got to be Tanya probably. Yeah, I don't see another way that goes. Scott going, green coming on. I kind of want to see Scott force this honey too. It's a bit ambitious, but especially now that you've dropped the Haku as well. Still thinking through on what to do. I gotta cook it, Sozu. Michael still Ishan ten, hoping to get that pinfu hit the four P. Boom. Oh, there's the poem. Now, a little bit of decision okay. here. Hedging Honitsu still. I agree with that. I think seven's the right cut anyway. You could cut, like, one pin and then play, like, seven floater, but I don't really think it's better than what you already have. Yeah, I don't really think you'd need the floating tile here. You, know, you lose six so, you lose eight so, but in return you get some huge value upgrade chances. Yeah. I guess you do technically have Sanchoki with the seven kept with like five, six, seven, but also again pretty far, so who cares? Tap by now in the three pin for Hatsu only. Three of those left in the wall. He shut down on the right for Michael. Mm hmm. Right across, nothing too much going on. Still looking for that Pinfu, potentially ending up in a Shabo. Another option. Tyler hasn't made too much progress. Getting there, but still a little bit out. Has call options now. Oh, there's one. He shunned him. Probably th three mon cut. That. Yep. Oh, here's a huge Ooh. upgrade for Scott. There's the wide one. That's two, five, eight. No, three, six, nine, four, seven. Yep, the five slided. And yeah, it's coming Boom. out. Uh, but it's cheap, so not a huge deal if you're Michael. Yeah, Michael had not the, the worst thing in the world. It was Tempai on the four. Oops, we're not switching dealership. We're staying right here with Scott. Michael had the Tempai on the four pin, but 
it was just a contract on Richie Nomi, so decided, you know what, I'll drop the three pin chance, Home. get a chance at Ipeko and Pinfu, uh, ended up dealing it instead. Tyler aiming to shut this hand down with an open one east is the call, but very slow to completion. The hand on the right looks much more yeah, likely. Um, definitely a ways away, but you hit a good draw, you hit a pair candidate and get the pawn call on it. it can very explosively increase in speed. Once again, we see Michael comfortable dropping back a Shantan to potentially improve the weights later. This makes Tanyao easier. It gives you yeah. two chances at Ipeko. In fact, if there's two Ipeko chances, that means you have a Gianpeko chance. Ooh, Ryan coming to town? It's possible Looking here. Looking to stop by for dinner. Always fun time. And with two Dora, that would be a monster hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, but Tyler drawing extremely well. Shunt then now. Gonna cut the pen, Sean. Very fair. Already a two mount out, so your pawn candidates aren't the best, but still out there. He shunt in for Michael now, and yeah, Gee. Michael looks like it's not happening. We will see a tempi on the Shabo for Tyler. Does not great. A lot of upgrades, though, mm -hmm. on that Pinzu. Could even work in Adora. Seven pin, the ideal draw. Mm hmm. Upgrade to Diop in shape and be able to accept the Dora. Or just. Simo. Simo. Oh, just a class two. All right, shuts down the dealership. Will send us into East 3. Michael, multiple blocks here, seven blocks. Yeah, a lot of different options. Okay, we'll call Got it six. It. We'll call it six. So Riancon, yeah. But they're they're not very good. Only one diamond here on the right. Well, toy toy now. Right, not doing too much. Could just be a standard pinfu here across the way. Very real uh -huh. Daisanga TM for Tyler. <laughs> and actually, the Haku is the only ah. dragon drawn by any of the other players on the right. That is the Tyler oh, that, wants out. Uh, that Tyler really wants. I'm telling you, that's the that's the recipe for uh, Daisanga. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. You get one dragon, no pause drop, super early. You call one, you Anko the other, pass the one that you anko and then somebody drops the last of that dragon that was first dropped, and then Daisongen is confirmed. Easy as that. Barely even rare at that point, might I add. Well, here's the Hatsu. Passes. This is the alternate way to get this to happen. Pass. Make it look like you don't want it. There is Chitoy here as well. This is Ishantan, actually. I don't know about that. I think I would have called that. Drop 4-6 Kanchan. I, I don't hate the pass here. If the second one comes out, then you have to make your decision. Uh, without any Dora. Yeah, she toys nothing, though. That's the only reason I don't like it. She toys 2,600. Yeah, but how often do you win she toy Chibi Sangam? I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it is kind of swag and kind of funny, but... <laughs> I mean, Nagashi's the same way. You know what I mean? But if you draw the Haku here, you don't even reach E. You just uh, oh, you just wait. And pull yeah. everything. Here it is. Well, the only problem is now you're on double one chance. That's okay. That just means when they draw, it'll come out. And because you passed the <laughs> first ones, like you said, right? They're going to come out. No one's going to believe that you passed Dragon if you had Daisangan. Well, the problem is that that works if you Anko one, but when you have two that are one chance, if you got to open for the red too, then you start running into problems. Oh, maybe it's just Suanko. <laughs> okay, let's not get too crazy. <laughs> Suanko Daisangan, how about it? You told me Honitsu. Oh. Toy Toy, I believe you. Oh, okay. Toy Toy, Honitsu, Suanko Daisangan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, now I'm on your side. Okay, you didn't okay. have me before? You you got me back. Show me the dragons. Nah, they're they're are... all in the dead wall. <laughs> all the last four tiles are in the dead wall. Two tunes, one Hatsu, one Haku. I mean, dealer Ishanten here for Ipeko. Raise... Oh, there's a Hatsu! Pwn cut, six mon. Boom. 
I get called. Yeah. There's one. Uh, GG for Tempai. Waiting on six months. Oh no, not the six months! Uh, five might get thrown first. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Uh oh, this is gonna uh, be tragic. There's still a chance. Seven Mon would dig out. Seven or eight Mon would There's dig a... out. I think Michael would switch in that case. Oh. That's so good. Yeah, if, if Michael switches to Shabba, that's the only out here. Yeah. Michael might pawn the four because it's funny. Oh, yeah, it's still, but now there's... That's uh, still 6 one. Well, I, I was thinking, like, if there's any shifts, but even if you draw the 4, it's still 3-6. If you draw the 5, oh, and it's going to come out. Don't! Uh, oh, it's too good to We're going to have to check the wall to see if Daisongun was possible with the tiles that remained, though. I think it was so dead with how far we got in. It just could be, you know, the last four tiles. I think that's a funny dead wall screenshot waiting to be collected. <laughs> As is, it felt just short and dealer will win the Tanya hand. Repeat. He's three still. I pie is okay. Chance that he pay in the upper Sozu. Reasonable shapes here. On the right, Ray looking at a Tanya, perhaps. He wants to draw Dora. Across the way. Well, you didn't get one Yakuman. How about another? Kokushi? Eight unique tiles. Not a great start to it, but... Yeah, not feeling great with eight. Maybe after missing out on Daisongan, you just... Take a take a hand off. Play Kokushi, defend. Yeah. Recover Take mentally. a breather. On the left, Scott can open up on the east with the Dora. Fairly cheap, but... In first place, you don't even mind so much. Yeah, definitely not too upset with the playback. Make sure you build in defense, and then if you can get a value hand first to uh, post, just take it. All right, Tyler says, Kokushi's not coming. We'll, we'll try to play the standard. Completes one shape. Dealer, Gian Shanten. Scott, that's a great draw. You Shanten now. You don't have to call this east open anymore you can reach you for some extra value here this could be a very strong yeah, there you one go well. a lot of food built in with that two dealer moves to isha then so lots of progress being made this is a slight improvement it allows you to draw nine pin and sanzo into tempai yep dealer still ishan ten Really looking on those Epeko draws, but 6 0 is super dead right now, so we'll not get it. Oh. So I'm going to take that Reach, though. Richie. Surprisingly bad. Richie Pinfu. Epeko draw has one tile off the wall of the nine, so also. No, Epeko draw two. is uh, dead. Tyler's oh, got right, the right, uh, right. last two. Full pair there. Yep, we're looking two nine so's in the wall, and that is it. I mean, Tyler might cut six if, like, it's Tempai for Pinfu, but I doubt it. I think it's just whoever gets a nine so is going to end up throwing it out. Yeah, it's funny. Tyler's actually shut down here. It's true. He's going to cut Gambitsu 5 6, though. And Scott's just shoving here. I mean, 4 5 were. Oh, 5 boys can get too, yeah. Scott is just shoving. Scott wants a piece. Scott goes, I need some points. I mean, there's a 2 so drawn to you, Peiko, but that's starting to die. Only one left now. Yeah. No, dead. Super dead. Ray just dropped the last one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just came out. Oh, that's Tempai. That's a good weight, too. That's Suji discard. Drop two mon. All right, smash it. Don't know if I would have reached it, but that's foodie ten three side though. Ooh yeah, very very. Oh yeah, he pots two. We take the foodie ten three. Fortune favors the bold. Let's go. Reach pots two. We have Tora, Tanya, Tane, and the Uda for bonus. That's another twelve thousand point hand for Ray. Is it is is this just the DC way you only win ten thousand points, uh, twelve thousand points at a time? It's either that or all of us play fifteen hundred hands relentlessly until Dustin gets Ipatsumo Hanemon. 
and it's then we all cry. Twelve, twelve thousand. <laughs> yeah, so we do have we do have some games where everybody else mixes in. All right. Well, Ray. Now, after that big win, we'll be the dealer. Ooh, pretty good hand too. Yipeko building up possible San Shoku. Yeah, seven mon two. Not. I guess the shape is good, but not the best. A couple of pinfu outs of seven mons drawn. On the right, though, there's a Dora and Itsu building in the Sozu. The yeah, way. good shape for that. Looking at 2 6. Scott's got three yeah. pairs. Just awkward shapes everywhere. Could just turn this into a oh, ton yeah. now. That'll help for it. Michael can open up on the Hatsu. Yeah, I might just have to for a quick hand. Try and rob everybody else. It's got a drifting Dora now, but with that four pin cut earlier, can't imagine it doing too much in the hand. I guess it could be a Tonky option if you draw into E Peko. Tough choice here. Do you just it, it's each on ten, but do you do you force the Shabo weight for the Green Dragon? That's just been cut once. Or do you aim for the Diamond weight here? Home. Just call the second one. Ends up on the seven Kintsuji. Seven, which just comes out. Yeah, I was thinking when Ray decided to cut Dora there, I almost kind of like the seven up because I'm not reading Dora as. Or there's something that was cut. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And in Could the have end, also potentially, I guess they're in double nine p there. Yeah, paying a thousand points to pass your dealership. It's probably about uh, probably less than you would have paid anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. And moving on to Tyler's South One dealership. Very interesting high pie. It looks like Dian Jantin form Rishi Pinfu. But there's chances that you draw more Mon tiles, just like this one, and start to force a Honitsu or Chinitsu. On the right, Scott, I wonder if he's thinking about some type of Chanta. Just so many awkward tiles in that hand. Might go across the way. Richie door one looks like it's going to be the plan. And on the left, Ray has a very standard Richie, Richie Pinfu, maybe. Tyler keeps drawing Monzu, though. It's definitely the hand to watch right now. Three tiles away from Chinitsu. That's so scary. And as dealer, like, Chinitsu door one is Hanemon. That's a lot, yeah. But you do have to drop more Montiles. In the meantime, Ray is making some progress. Two away from Tempai now. Yeah, pretty okay shape. Not feeling the best about the options, but seven's a decent floater. Doesn't want it. And I'm going to throw the four, so I almost kind of want to see Haku out. Now, four I guess so you... indicates that Tyler really wants to get Chinitsu here. Honitsu, or at least Honitsu. I was going right. to say, because of the one Haku out, I almost kind of like throwing the Haku, just because Shinitsu is really close to. But because the one Haku the four is out, like other stuff, followed, but... you kind of expect that it's in the wall. Yeah. Other players just so slow to make any progress here. It's really a battle between Ray and Scott. Ooh. Which shape is better, the 446 or this 45678? I think the 446 is probably better to keep because that's your weaker block. But doing it this way gives you Ipeko draw with a 3 mon. Oh, you don't really want it's Ipeko true. because 3 mon is twice cut, so yeah. Imagine we see a yeah. limited Tempai. Makes sense, just switch dealership, make sure you keep everybody Come. cheap. 369 is the weight, but Tyler continues to draw Monzu. Uh, 369. Still two threes, come on. They're yeah. in Tyler's hand, but... And 9 won't deal in if it comes out, of course. That doesn't fit into a Tanya. I almost wonder if you would rather do the Shabo there. Probably not, but... I don't hate it, just because I feel like Pinzu is pretty strong on this board, or pretty weak. Yeah, because you know the dealer is doing... Or you suspect the dealer is doing Manchinitsu, you know they can't use the 4-pin. Yeah. 
now you can could even still drop again. it and do the same thing. Well, this is a big chi here for Tyler. Nah, oh, Tyler's tempai. taking that. That's Tempai and the Haku. Ooh, there's still two in the wall, too. Yeah, as opposed to zero for Ray. But this would be the cheaper Chi. way to get there. Honitsu door one. Much less expensive. Yeah. Although I think there's a lot of draws for Tyler that are Manzu tiles to where the Haku just gets auto-dropped. As in every single Mondial. Yeah, literally every single one. Well, nine's pretty bad. <laughs> the <laughs> singular left. nine that's left. Oh, oh no, no, no. Actually, it's dead. It's this door indicator, too. So, yeah, uh, nine, nine mine will be... No, there's one more, I mean, if you, right? If that's you only draw three. the nine, that will be the last nine. Oh, yeah, exactly. Nine, nine's bad. Everything else is fine. So, one is not going to deal in here. Toyman doesn't have a Yaku. Just fighting for K10. Just hoping to get some points sure. when we get to the end of the round. Can switch the weight here. Uh, I mean, you have enough time to switch to a Tanya and win off it, technically. Mm -hmm. That does involve drawing Eat. double 2P, but something. Well, fine, Late Richie going to come from Scott. We'll choose the 2-5 pin. Richie, no me here. Michael gets free Genbutu from this. It's not going to pass it up. Makes sense. Ooh, too so shove. Interesting. Well, but now 5 so is not Kasuji free wants to play. Oh, but Tyler will get the Sumo Honitsu Dora 2000 all plus the Richie stick, and that puts Tyler into third place. Sorry, second place. Was third to begin with. And promising for another dealer repeat. Kind of what we've seen so far in the series is you don't want to allow Tyler time as the dealer. Mm hmm. Tyler has been popping off, and I mean, this Saipai, it's not terrible either. It's not the best, but it has roots for E2, has roots for a... Uh, it's got the South Yakuhai. Yeah, Honitsu even, with how these draws have been going. Jeez. See, one, Over suit two, as well. three, four, five blocks. Five blocks for Honitsu. Hanging South in Michael's hand. You would be cutting the... Nine pin pair to wait on something like one so tanky or sanzo tanky, but those are technically five blocks. Yeah, I mean, there's options too, you got plenty of time to draw around oh. as well. Scott with a very reasonable hand on the right, or some type of oh, I was gonna say p true, but no longer after pairing up the tune, just e shot 10 here. Yeah, so, could potentially play a little bit slower too and try to get like five, six, seven sanchoku or even six, seven, eight. Both of those are reasonable. Add a little bit more value. Yeah, if Tyler was very greedy here, would probably have cut that nine pin. But still holding out. Across the way, that's a very exciting hand. Ishan 10 for Richie, pin for Dora. And Michael really desperate for points here. Is mm -hmm. Pup gonna fight? No matter what dealer does. Seems like they had to do it. And Ray now becomes Ishan 10 with that. Neither of the end weights good. Looking on either Kanchan and Penchan. Uh, but Tempai is Tempai. Speaking of Tempai, we're we going to see it. Scott just smash the button, waiting on 6 9 so for Richie Nomi. Yeah, this is uh, multiple times now that we've seen Scott end up on a Richie Nomi. However, this one, at least you're not uh, fighting against another Richie. Yeah. It's a fairly good weight, too. 6 is pretty... You can expect that a reasonable amount of the time here. It is Dora and Dora Suji, so maybe the 6 side of it's not coming up, but the 9? More likely. That, that's a really interesting move from Michael. Intentionally cutting the 6-pin instead of the 9-pin there. Home. This might be a consideration of the fact that Scott could be reaching from an 899 shape and is worried that the 9 pin would deal into a Shabo. So, very, very clever move. 6 pin normally a little bit scarier than the 9, though. Also, could be mm -hmm. just an Itsu play, but the 1 pin's already come out. And Ray might need to back out with this 9, so. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Throws the 8. Tyler did manage to get Tempai on the 5 8, so.
five eight. Neat. Still two left in the wall. I believe two five. So if my count's correct, and Michael Ray can you. throw nine mon here. Does the Try nine pin. pin. Sticks, luckily. Yeah, nine mod a little bit safer though, and this gives an excuse for Tyler to get out of this hand. Yeah, he's got to spot this nine mod on the next go around though. Oh, the Three nine mod, not looking great. Ooh, Last there's pass. one. Oh, yeah, two or a two, so it matters. He's got beneficiary of a nice flip. Takes it into south too. Pie. Steeler high pie, not too much going on. The uh, building your hand, pretty standard. If a prayer is answered, then maybe add Pinfu to the Richie, but you get Richie here, and I think you're feeling pretty comfortable. Michael on the right, not too much going on either. Just hanging loose, filling in. Standard Richie, 9 to 5. Ray across, some of the better shape on the table. Still not even super great, though. Does have double door repair, though, so wanting to fight very, very badly. Could potentially move down to a Tanya with, like, a 6P Chi. Yeah, if the 6 bit came out for Michael, would you just Chi that right now? Yeah, I think I would with double door locked in and, like, the rest of my shape kind of being in shambles. If my hand's a little bit better put together, I would definitely skip it. But here, where I'm, there's almost certainty that I'm going to need to open up anyway, and I've seen people being aggressive and, like, throwing Dora... I just want to lock in the Tanya. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that play. But, oh, draws the 5-7. Just Ishan then that. Ishan Tan, e Peko chance, too, potentially, on 5-8-bond e draw. Peko for that matter. Yeah. Very strong for Ray. door, too. Very, very good. And now, would you make that cheap play? Um... I think you could still get away with it because the four mon isn't doing it. Still to your door hand. two, yeah, still door two. You're throwing four mon anyway. I don't, I don't hate it. I'll tell you that much. Doesn't feel the best, but I think the, I think the other thing to consider is like five eight mon is by Dora. So if you reach, there's a decent chance it's not coming out. I'm a no sumo player, so mm -hmm. I refuse to sumo. Well, or rather, the wall refuses <laughs> it for me. But so. Knowing Neat. that I can't draw that need it dropped, I wouldn't be able to reach it with the people I play against, but here you you might be able to get away with it. You might be able to try it. Ray in a little bit of trouble here now. Not a lot to defend mm. with. Goes with the Suji, but that does back you out of uh Ishantan. Yeah. But maybe Ray can dance around this and find a different tempi. Now seven's cleared, so that that entire pin block can be safely discarded. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes, again, my washing the full shape pays off. It's a big draw for Scott. Kind of wants to push, maybe. He shunt in now. Oh. Gets double two mon out. Ray has successfully drawn back into a pair, so she can potentially drop like a three so here to make up for that shape. Shoves three pin check two passes. That was approaching temp by it goes with a the safe two so though. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. Ray looks pretty backed up. He's back to Ishan then, but Eat. I don't know how willing is to push the two pin and in the meantime we have a Richie <laughs> on the dead seven so well that's not yeah Richie. i mean honestly when they started coming out i said you know what sure and then i watched and saw tyler through the actual last seven so right before well now you're just hoping to not draw the deal in tile and it passes okay we're going to do kyoku works out if Didn't you... get an extra fold from it, but hypothetically, might have been trying for it. Yeah, I caught... basically d donated to reach six in the middle of the table. But as long as you win this hand, it. Uh... Hey, giving people that extra one thousand to fight for, they might just push when they wouldn't have. Well, Hypai says could be a ton of mental game. 
Yeah, also could have Sanchoku. Need a couple draws for it, but the oh race. wow, Tyler passed up South Yakuhai there. With twenty three hundred in the middle of the table, I am a little surprised. Yeah, that close too. I wonder if it was just they have no calls on and forget to turn it off next round. The hand of the right's pretty terrible. Yeah, Michael's probably not getting that twenty three hundred. It's going to be a bit of a journey there. Ray stuck with his door, the only player with a door tune. It's decision time pretty soon. Oh, cutting from the east pair says I have too many of those. And maybe, Ray, maybe Ray's plan is to door talk you. I believe it. That's the sort of discard that you make when you're committed to never dropping the Dora. Yeah, that feels about right. I mean, again, you're off when it benefits you. Because the other thing is, when you play it in your hand, you know nobody else. Everybody else has one less to get to, right? So, like, Ray's best case scenario here may just be denying a Chun Pon Mangan to somebody else. So might as well deny that early, and yeah, dealer might repeat or whatever, but better than repeating with a tune manga on board, something like that. Oh, but she just tossed it out. The Anshantan dealer with some very awkward shapes now, the 7-8 seven, seven, in the Manzu is Fudi 10. And I think Scott is okay with the Fudi 10, just hoping to get the 6, and if the 6 mod doesn't come, he's going to back away from it. Now this is Chito Anshantan. Ray also in Chitori Ran Shantan. I also, what I'm unsure of, ah, oh, the backfire, damn. I wonder if Ray remembers that Nagashi is not a normal rule set. Oh. I don't know if she's made it through her Nagashi is totally a part of normal rule set, which it is for anybody out there. You should totally try for it in a real game. Yeah, I is. swear you'll get a bong gun at the end of hand. In Armal, we do not have Nagashi Mangan. So if sarcasm it's an Armal rite of passage, yeah, it's... an Armal rite of passage, you go for it in the first league, and then someone mentions that it's not in roll set, and you go, "What?" It is fun to go for it regardless, it's, especially because most of the time your hand is just dead. We do have Tempai on the left for Chitoy. Eat and Chitoy Tempai for dealer now. Which one do you want? Well, not the Fudi Ten one. Chi. We'll try the yeah. seven so again. This time there are two tiles in the wall. As double Genbu too, with Nagashi still alive, fake Nagashi. Ooh, and now hell wait for Tyler Crafty on the Dora. There. But with three sticks now, Michael Tempai for Tanya on the eight that just came out. It gets the Sumo. So Michael grabs all those sticks right back. Funny enough, yeah. Remember the one hand we didn't think had a chance at this. <laughs> <laughs> just dropped all of the terminals and honors and eventually found a Tanya. Yeah, and just get perfect calls from dealer. To your left, easy as that. All right, South 3, this game is drawing close to an end. Three players Ooh, above 30,000. big villain to start. Yeah, Michael with an opportunity to make up some points. Chance at 789 Sancho, where there's a door in hand he'd love to build around. Very good opportunity for some dealer value. Three pin fills a block, but it's not one of the blocks you really, really want. I mean, could potentially look for Jun Chan or Chanta for value now, too. Uh, seven. Ooh, that seven mon's gonna make it tough, though. Maybe just looking to reach Pin Fudora. Yep, that, that looks like will be the play here. To the right, Ray, very interesting hand as well. Pretty much all the shapes. Oh, good luck. There is, yeah, nothing too much to go for. That's huge. Oh, there There's you go. You too. There you go. Just throw five immediately, even. Oh, I can't imagine pair. a world where you play it. Um, this does allow you Tanya easier, but I mean, if someone's going to drop you four on, you might as well just play the E2, I'd think. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is Tanya play. And, well, now there's a Dora draw, so this this does allow you Oh, okay. Across the ah, I see that 2 3 is still awkward, though. We'll probably see a pinch on cut soon from Tyler aiming for Richie Pinfu Ipeko. And maybe. Yeah. Looks about right. 
on the left, Scott Ishan, Dion Shan. Uh, Rian, yeah, Rian Shan. But there's potential for weird Rian Shan. A weird Shabo at the end of this wait. Yeah, I mean, it looks like maybe 19, like, 1 Mon, which 1 Mon doesn't look terrible, but 19 is pretty bad right now. Michael has made this 2 2 3 3 pin shape. Looks very awkward with three of the one pins cut already. We're probably back. Yeah. Away from this soon. It's about to say, I was like, oh, you Pego, that's good. But without your one pins, four pin you Pego does not look good. Like, if you drew one pin into Tempai, would you even take it? Oh, Sancho Brunel. I might Damo. Oh, yeah, but I actually, I like the Sancho more. I'd rather just drop, like, double three here, probably. Oh. At least a single three. Ooh. I don't know about that. So that means that Michael is willing to take the Ricci if a one pin is drawn. Yeah. I do think I prefer cutting a pair, either the two pin or the three pin there. And what is Ray doing? How has this turned into a Chinitsu esque hand? I'm getting PTSD flashbacks right now. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that hand in the little mini review that we did. Yeah. Ugh. You would like to have that nine mon back, though. Yeah. But who would suspect from just a nine mon? Oh, with that there's discard the temp buy and the two pin three pin. Wait, it actually doesn't seem that okay. Bad. Do you yeah, do I you think you'd smash Richie. No, yeah, Sancho Ku. Close Sancho Ku Richie. That's three Han. You sumo or you hit Nura and you got Manga. And that's definitely one where you reach you. Especially because the weight's like not good. So you're not really oh. expecting it anyway. You might as well reach for it and try to push the Manga on chance. Scott, Amy. You don't really have upgrades either. Toy Toy, I guess? K10? Hard to say. Uh, yeah, K10, Toy Toy. A lot of options. Are you willing to push the six spin against this? Ray, Shunten. You make a pony oh, up like five pairs in hand, always feels sad. Yeah. Scott should make a safe discard it's here. It's all of them, too. Oh! Come on! High oh my god, and, and high pay. Really There's high the fourth. Pay. That's true. Oh, misses. But That's all of a sudden, we've got a big game. Sumo. We're pretty, we're almost washed right now. We are very close to where we started at. Which I would not have expected with how this game's been going. Oh, what a game this has been. And now there's Itsu chance for Michael in the Sozu. Oh, sorry, Boom. the Monzu. Oh, but Scott's firing off first, secures the Akuhai, and is going for a hand before anybody else. Yeah, those are some gorgeous shapes. Scott, with a one hand hand, even has a chance of taking first place here. Ishantan now. Three pin is the normal cut. Ray fills a Conchon. That's promising. Still a little bit of work to do. Just throws the Dora pair out. That seems unusual, but at least it opens up Tanya as an option. Wow, just such a fast temp by. And Scott believes in the East. What a read. Usually you take the uh, Diamond weight here, but. Scott says, no one thinks I'm waiting on the east. It's not a Yakuhai for me. So you're making progress again. Ishanta needs the one mon and the seven mon. Yeah, looking around. Problem is, one mon not looking great. Already two out, and it's Dora, so... Similarly, seven mon two out as well, or two held, twice held. Ray has Ray's paired still up the south. For that south Yakuai. None drawn yet, so very possible to come out. Oh, oh that's tempai. Oh, that's big. Eat. Um, I might shove reach on that. Yeah, reach I think I'm more worried about other people out racing me right now. So with a bad weight, I'd rather just try to get people to slow down. Reach. This is a, this is a Mangan. Dealer Mangan would take first place. Richie, oh yeah, Richie Tsudora, that'd do it. 
Still two seven mon in the wall. Oh, oh. Se uh, <laughs> Tyler doesn't quite wait long enough. But I mean, honestly, still might be a good thing. Because Michael hitting that hand, then Tyler's basically guaranteed fourth. Yeah, and now it's still anyone's game. Ray, final dealer, kind of not the spot you want to be in. But at least you have East Pair and Adora one mon. Yeah, you're expecting to win this one. That's pretty reasonable. That's how your hand is. To the right, Tyler also a door in hand. Looks like a door one play. Ooh, wow, just draw the okay, draw yourself. On. Now you can Very open big. freely. Open freely or even try for a reach and just have two sneaky uh, Han in there. Huh. Yeah, it's it's a con. It's a con angle. Oh, jeez, right. Let's calm down a little bit. This does <laughs> increase the chances that you will not be first place at the end of the game. Yeah, that's true. But that doesn't matter literally at all if you win. Yeah, if By the way, win. Ray quoted that. We <laughs> mind melded there, so I could tell that was her train of thought. Um, I mean, listen, the shape's still not bad, and you did get a door from it, so... Ooh... You can force so using that door is not looking great though. It's Toyman awkward and lone Dora. Very yeah, difficult. Toyman's not doing too much. Michael's E Ryan Chantan. If I'm Scott, some good shit. I might open it for a Jun Chan here. Oh, especially with that drop. Yeah, that might have to be the pill. Do so, do so, but Scott doesn't see the angle. I guess there is something to be said about just playing reserve too. Try to go for the reach of the scare people. On the left, Michael, very standard hand. Is Richie Pinfu going to do it? Maybe you've got a Dora. Yeah. Like if you could pair up the one so, you're all of a sudden in a very good spot. Mm hmm. Ray also really hoping to pair up Adora. Ray doing some soft committing. Ooh. This might be time to throw off one so. Yeah. It's a pretty convenient place to do it. And if you're going for a repeat anyway. I think four so is fine. They're just as good. If not. Yeah, better. but I kind of want the excuse to get rid of the door at that point. I'm not feeling strong about it. I have not been feeling great about that door if I'm in race, but... Well, they all sort of come out around the same time. Only one of that one so left in the wall, and nobody could use it at this point. Yeah. Tyler, importantly, Ishan 10 right now. Same as Michael. Eight. Oh. Oh, and Tyler finds the nuts. Which way do you want? 258? Or, yeah, it's got to be 258. I love three-sided Nobiton. It's not good, but it is one of my fan favorite ways. Three sells Gambits and Ray can cheat us. She cut two. She cut one mon even. Yeah, she cut door one. Let's it pass though. Ah, see, and then you draw a bad tile. Now if Ray deals into this, she might end up in third. Double two. Six pin is Nakasuji. So playing defensively here. It's true. You have seven for Gambutsu. Something. Your next safest tile is probably the two so. Yeah. Uh. Oh, who's got tempered by the two pin? That's Kamicha. Go. Adama, Pinfidoran. And Pinfidor one. I mean, you know what? Ray's still in second, so that works out. Didn't draw below 30k, which probably should have happened after that con. Yeah, notably no Richie there, so. But that's enough to put Michael into third place, surpasses uh, Tyler here. And of course, when you again, when you get 19 points as your fourth place, you probably didn't do anything wrong. It's just those those fours tend to yeah. happen. You get sumoed out. Other people win hands. And so that does finish this C1 table. Ray climbs up to first place overall in C1. Tyler, hey, there it is. Still hanging around that promo zone, and Michael and Scott. Scott making some progress, and Michael saving some damage. It's so all in all a pretty reasonable result.
Okay. Well, we had all those top of the hour matches running. I don't know if there are any left. There are def. There are actually like four left, surprisingly. Everybody's been having long games. We got one that is an East 3 that is a B2 game. Okay. We also have, I believe, a B3 game that's an East 4. Let's go to the most recent one so we can watch more of it. Is that the. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Is that the table it is. Gen? Yes, yes. Okay, let's hop right in then. Pulling it up now. This looks like we're going to need to refresh, but I'm seeing. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Jen in East 3 as the dealer. Two Ricci sticks, four home boss. So I guess there were a couple of new Kyokus, most likely. Yeah, that would have to be a. Shanten for our dealer. Dion Shanten on the right. Ishanten now. The Peiko chance. Across the way, Shanten for Alec open with Haku only. On the left, Philip. Dion Shanten here with lots of Diamond shapes. Mm hmm. Although potentially Mega Foodie 10. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of hard free 10 dodges. Hopefully, the stats should be updating any second now, too. I suspect Getting uh very close. I suspect Phillips probably on the defensive angle right now. Yeah, probably. There's 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 a good bit of threat. Oh. Oh. Oh no, Suwako oh. Tonky. Oh no. Whoa. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Talk about bad timing. Wow. <laughs> That was the last thing you were expecting to see. And Jacob, who is starting to feel good about this game, is now just in shambles. That might be Jacob's season right there. <laughs> Even um, oh, no. Oh, goodness. This is going to hurt. That is the second Suanko Tonki of the season, I believe. I don't think any other Suanko that's happened in Armal has been Tonki, too. I think before this season, it was just a lot of uh, sumos. Takahiro earlier this season winning on the 7 mon. Jen winning on 7 pin. So you know what you have to wait Home. for for your next Suanko Tonki. It's got to be a 7 of some suit. Most likely the 7 so is going to be the winner. I'm just calling it right now. Yeah, 7s are good flow. Forget 3s. Good all reliable. I got to say... I was still looking around the hands to see, you know, if Philip was folding, if Jacob was going to get the Peko. I did not see Jen drawing or so. I mean, so I saw fight. like the one Anko and was like, <laughs> oh, okay, like, wow, this is kind of real. And then, like, right as I'm about to bring it up, I will watch the Suanko draw happen. I go, oh, Suanko. And I go, what are the pairs? And I go, oh, it's Tonky. <laughs> I'm like oh, wow, wild. and picking the correct Taki, that that's one of the most valuable. I mean, skills there were time. there were two cut for the uh, six pin there, so it it would have been a hell weight on six pin. It would have been a tough ask. Well, now it's a game of who can get second place at this point. I guess yeah. Alec at forty two thousand points is in a pretty reasonable position right now. But mm -hmm. uh, Philip opens up, calls it down for two thousand points. Hatsudora won. Wait, six pin nine, so all in the wall. Just look, just yeah, around. nine, so it's not looking great for everybody, too. Even six pins not looking great for everybody. Yeah, so yeah. this is probably just a ticking time bomb game. Feels like a matter of time, but you'd rather it come sooner than later because Jacob is Isha Ten. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be fighting a reach for this. Jen is Ishan 10, very strong too right now. Oh, sick hand. It's double Dora, even as Tanya on oh, that's too. Oh, Drew, the oh, second best Oh my tile god, on the San Menchon. Do you Dama here in case a 5 comes out? Tanya Dora 2. 
No. I guess reach. I, I guess reach is reach. the same thing anyway. So yeah. If it wasn't three sided, maybe not. But I mean, Jen has the points that she can literally play, literally play however she wants, and it will be the right choice. Ah, uh, first place no. swag points so. though. Oh no, Jacob we couldn't do anything about that. Yeah. Again, Jacob cuts to advance. It was Tempai. Jacob ben. drew into Tempai and dealt in. There's nothing you can do. Probably would have yeah. dealt in any pots as well. Uh, I mean, when you're down 22, you got to make something happen. Who knows? Maybe Jacob gets a Tenho and just like washes. <laughs> yeah. Tenho, Daisangen. When even a Tenho now... gets it just a zero to points. positive <laughs> it's yeah. it's a rough feeling uh yeah God, jen's got door three right now what happened i mean jen's got the flow right now you might as well take advantage of it could even jen, you should have bought now. a lottery ticket what are you doing <laughs> here <laughs> god alex got a slow hand across philip's got a slow hand to the left these are weird shapes. This is not as bad, but yeah. Jen starts moving towards Tanyao. Will probably open up if two pin or six pin comes out. Oh, just drawn to Tempai. Oh my god, do you? Mm. Waiting for an upgrade. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Even if you draw like six mod, then you have a uh, Tanya Dama. Mm -hmm. And with door three, I mean, Mangan's Mangan. You need to reach for the extra. You have four winning tiles here. And you're expecting that some of them are going to be locked away in hand. Ooh, yeah. that's an interesting shift. You could go something like 2-pin, two 2-pin two there and try for a pinfu. I'd almost rather go 6-pin if I'm going to do that. Keep my pinfu out tie, and then if I draw into a shabo, I still have 2-pin to get it. So I don't hate 2-pin as part of a shabo. I just don't love it. Okay, your upgrades here. You have 4 6 bond, 4 5 pin, 4 7 pin. Of course, your winning tile comes out. Um, I mean, yeah. I might just slam six and reach, honestly. Yep. Come yeah. into Reachy. The new door is the Haku. That's gone, so no worries there. Oh, but... seven's Kabe now, too. And only Jen does it. Yeah, that's part of the reason why the six pin Reachy is, is strong, is because people might just drop it in defense. And once yeah. the seven becomes one chance, it's more likely to come out. You see a four too to set up Suji on it. Now there's it's not the worst idea. One seven pin in the wall for its sumo. The question is, will these players sort of defensively discard into this? It looks kinda locks. I don't I don't know. Philip is approaching Tempai, and if he gets there, he might drop it, because the six pin is a terrible weight. That's true. Not quite. Phil does want to fight a little bit. Does want to scrap against dealer Hanemon. Well, dealer Mongon with decent Hanemon chance. Three pin is safe. Just looking for a pair is Philip. Five pin would be a terrible draw. Of course, that cannot happen. They're, they're all held. Oh, this is Tempai. Uh... But you don't really want to drop the five, so the seven will come out instead. No. Ah. Reachy Tanya door four, or not Tanya, but Reachy door no, four. No, Tanya. <laughs> four. What? <laughs> Look at those <laughs> indicators. What? <laughs> Imagine having what? a Haku Anko as well, <laughs> and Jed over a hundred thousand oh. points. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the? What's the high score? Oh my goodness. It's got to be getting close, right? For a single highest game. What, it is. I think it's at 108 by Aaron. I thought it was like 102. And amazingly, Alec is over 30,000. So Jen not even getting the full Uma bonus. That's true. But there's still a lot of game to play. We're in East 3. <laughs> yeah, this is just East 3. But... <laughs> Uh, this is actually Tempai for Alec. Do you, do you oh, even 102, dare 102 by Aaron is the official highest score right now. Game 496 of Armal. Which was over 4,000 games ago. Khan? Yeah, might as well. 
I mean, do you have anything to lose at this point? You see someone with seven digits in their score. It'd be it'd be funny if it was if it actually was seven. But I, is it? I was oh yeah, six. I was, I was wondering <laughs> about uh, Alex Might reaching well. there on the six. Could have just dropped the pentron, and if he had, uh... would have conned into Tempai on the five eight mod instead. That's true. That would have been much stronger. You have an extra door there too. It looks like dealership might be passing here, though. Yeah, Jen foolishly deciding that she can't just raw shove this and win <laughs> with her flow right now. Oh, Phillips drawn pair of Dora. Maybe there's a cheat toy shot here. Could be. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. It's pretty defensive, too. Value's close enough there. And also, Jacob be shunt then as well. Yeah, Jacob probably won't give up 17 to get there. So we'll be able to fight. Oh, Tempai. Oh, it. gotta take that. He yeah, took the Sun on four. Though. That's actually a good point. Yeah. Sano Kodama, you know what? I don't hit that. Maybe you draw another Although I do think you reach. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I think that's the actual play. Here, I, I think I just smashed the Richie. Yeah, but I mean, Suanko does get you positive, And now that like Phillip's close to going under too, that is meaningful. I think for that reason, that's Guess why I want to take the Richie because... Sod Richie Sananko mm. with all these Uda indicators. Oh. It's a good point. A lot of Ura bombs. Yeah, you're running out of draws though, and we know that uh Oh my seven, pretty dangerous. Imagine if Jacob pushes for Tempi on Suanko and has the third deal in. Yeah. Fortunately Jacob has so few draws into Tempi in the wall. Only one. That's probably not gonna happen. Yeah. But if he does draw the last two pin, we will see another deal in. Jen might be able to actually get Shitoi Tempai here. No, yeah. wait. A little Never mind. too far. One left. That, technically, yeah. two draws, though, so. Nope, didn't get there. Nope. That was seven. Yeah. Four so passes, though. And the South Shulp by, I think. Oh, it once cut, so it's still kind of suspicious. It did come out yeah. after the Richie, though, so it should be safe ish. There's that two pin. Three mod relatively safe as well. Eight pit is the cut. Yeah, Cuts. most recent out. Just, just deciding which of the many safe tiles is the safest to everybody. <sighs> Yeah, does someone does someone have Jen's contact information? Could someone let her know she's five K off next highest armal score ever? <laughs> Jen might be streaming this, actually. She does That's tend to... true. <laughs> someone someone quick <laughs> in the chat. It's five minutes of delay, that's plenty of time. It's only an east. All right. Yeah, Alec. what would she be right now? Plus fifteen. Uh that would be seventy. Or wait, 77. Oh, we're only at 92? 92? Did I do that math I right? Yes, yeah. Somewhere around there. So Is we still just... need a Mongon in a bit. Need to get to plus 85, which is plus 115. In order to scratch Eric's Aaron's score, technically plus or one seventeen to get plus one hundred two. Yeah, would assuming it, no one gets dunked under. Would it only be one twelve if she could get the full Uma bonus, but yeah. right now Alec preventing that from happening. I mean, Alec's about to get some more points from the looks of it too. Very strong Hanitsu coming up right now. Yeah, you can pull that, but it really hurts your shapes. Almost rather. Past that, just take your Ishan then. Uh, Gian Shan. Eat. Oh, Richie from Philip. Richie three sided. Richie Pinfu. 
No Dora. But at this point, Home. any points are going to be good. Are meaningful, yeah. No. Especially ending this dealership. So there's absolutely no way you're eating fourth Uma here. Just uh, third Uma. Oh, this is this is dirty from Jacob. He's like almost intentionally feeding Alec, and they're gonna bail out so that Philip has no. to to deal in. That's a that's a great strategy when you're not gonna be able to win the hand, but you you want to drag someone else down. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Oh, but eight so not trusted. Gonna throw eight mon for safety. Oh, but what about two? Oh, raids? the Nobaton so tasty. Six it. Oh, five foot two instead. A little dancing. Goes. From Alec. It's a Sanmen, John. It's fair. Yeah, reach it sumo pinfu. It's 320, not the most. Ooh, that's a hand of all time. I might honestly throw a double tune here. Nah, not double tune. If you had, uh. You don't think so? Okay, double tune if you for had double Doko, ramen. Fine, I, I will accept that. For Doko? That, that's a long shot Doko. That's the only reason I would cut Double Chew. I was thinking Pinfu. Should I go reach Pinfu angle? But I think if you're going for Pinfu, you can still do it this way by dropping one of your pairs. And if you draw around the other side of the pair, uh, the one that you cut, then you can cut Chun Chun. And if you don't, you just open up on your Chun. Take your Chun Shabo, something like that. Yeah, that's fair. I guess the reach Shabo on the Chun is pretty strong too. I, I do want to open up this hand for the 1500 if I get there. Yeah. I mean, if I'm forced to. I really like to just reach it, but... Mm -hmm. Ooh, this three mon's probably better than the Haku because we can build into Ipeko. The hand on the right is two away. With the Dora, across the way we've got an uncle with a five, so that's pretty constricting. Very difficult for other players to use the Dora when all the fives are being used up. And now the Chun Chun comes out with the Peko chance. I think now, whenever someone draws an Onko, they have to think, is this Sun on uh, Su Onko? Yeah, right. Is this one off from the Tonki? I mean, Alec might just straight up draw four mon and discard the Onko too. Go for Reach Pinfu Peko. Oh, a little backfire there for Philip. Had a choice between cutting away from a pair in the hand and cutting the overlapping Diabin. And decided the overlap yeah, is bad. So it's a little difficult decision, but. Makes sense. You're always playing the. Uh, this is going to be Tumpai for Alec if taken. No Richie. Ooh, Will for the Dama. Interesting. So this indicates that Alec really wants the Dora draw. Fair. Gets you Tanya out too. It's plus two instead of just plus one. Because I think that's the only upgrade in this hand. Yeah, I can't see anything else. I was thinking about a San Menchon and the Manzu, but you would have dropped. I guess you still would have taken Tempai, but even still, like I don't think I'd prioritize that. Jen actually Ishan then across the way. Still looking for the south though. Mm-hmm. Oh, slightly better Ishan ten. Ooh, that two pin. I Jacob, my greed a little bit. Nope, just holds, holds back. Oh, <laughs> Alec found it. Yeah, yep, and it's going to slam Reach. the Reach. Reach, Tanya. Absolutely. Uh, sorry, Reach, Tanya, Tora. Yeah, at three right now. Going to be looking for the fourth. Two tiles left in the wall for this wait. And Philip with two door probably wants to fight this. Two, two Monosuji, you can justify pushing it. Goes with a seven instead, just forcing it. because of the chi toy says I can uh I'm just gonna maximize my yeah. draws. Defense, who cares about that? We'll chase now. Reach door to the Peko. Chance. This weight's just as nope, this weight's worse. It's actually completely dead. Yeah. No, there's a uh, no, never mind. Yeah. So but just... hear me out. What if Jacob. Jacob's Tempi on the 2-5. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> Would be a double roll if it comes out now. And Philip has to pass one more draw. Has to pass 
Hi, Tayo. It's a sumo from Alec. Richie, sumo, Tanya, Dora, dealer, Mongon. Mongon. Don't even need the arrow. And the patience rewarded. Was it just going to be what? Richie, sumo? Uh, yeah. So sad compared to what actually yeah. happened here. And, uh, well, Alec. With a great game, would be in first with 55,000 points, except for the player across the table has double, exactly double that total. Uh, not, not quite. I'm, you invert the, the one there, and then it would be exact. Mm -hmm. The one and the zero. A very, very strong performance from Alec. Still shadowed by the yeah, <laughs> incredible right. game that Jen has put together here. And pretty good high pie, Alec. Two away from Tempai with Richie Pinfu. Across the way, Boom. Jen also just shunt in with Richie Pinfu. Philip sees a path to Toy Toy, and we'll just press straight forward. Oh, Jen has Sancho good chance now, but it's going to be tricky. All Boom. the nine, uh, all the nines are gone. So instead, we're going to have Toy Toy Tempai for Philip. Hesitated a little bit on that nine, Mon, thinking, but what about Doko? It's true. But Don't. it's already out, and yeah, take your quick round now. A foofle uh, toy toy. 2600. For Philip. Points out advance the game. Philip might just be tired at this point, too. Say, so I'm done with this. This this lobby's bad, Juju. I mean, get me to the next session. With the way this game has gone, I would, I would want out as well. Uh, you guys still got one more gen dealership too. Only God knows what could happen there. It could be nothing, or it could be. <laughs> Imagine Jen gets like a ten o here. Yeah, right. Just doubles up. I mean, she's already got a dealer Suanko Tonki, a dealer yeah. Baimon, and uh... dealer Dora Four Baimon. Yeah, by the way, Dora Four Udafor. Or a Dora Four. Yeah. <laughs> so who anything could happen here, but Philip. Not going to give up so easily on this dealership. Drops away from a penchon, trying to force usage of the door here. Would love to pair that up. On the right, Jen sure. does have the door pair. Might just be able to turn this into a Tanyao. Uh, Jacob across the way. It's so <sighs> difficult to play from this position. You're just playing for points. Still up there, misses. Ah, oh, I think Philip should have dropped two on there because playing that Sanchoku in the hand is actually, I think, a big deal. Mm. Gives you a lot of open ability. Let's we'll draw into Ishan then here. It's true. Even so, you you if you're playing efficiently, you cut the nine so here anyway. But you could yeah. justify dropping something like the four so or the six so. Because yeah, we are... it is just a Kanchan. Right. And if you end up on nine so tanky, uh, that's actually pretty strong. It's not terrible if you drop either. The six yeah. I'll just find the time by the four. So anyway, no. Richie. Man, I'll take that. Richie ping through door with the Peko chance. Now this is a very strong hand. Finally, something that Philip can work with. Yep, this will help it. This could be a call into Tempai though, if you dare push Come. the four so seven so. And he Sumo. does, but that gives the no. sumo to Philip. So Richie sumo pin through door and Uda would be Mangan. Misses, of course. No. Only Everybody Jen is allowed to hit it up. Of course. Jen used up all the Uruquota <laughs> for this table. But There's that, no more. That is a huge hand for Philip. Uh, any points are good, and 7,800 is great. Yeah. Working towards a Richidora one in this hand, getting some good Kanchan fills. Actually, this is Ishan done already. Needs ideally the 7 so. The right gen working towards maybe an eats in the Pinzu. Well, at least hold that thought. Also has a Dora. Home. Dora in hand. Jacob might play this as Honitsu. I think if I'm Philip here, I prefer cutting Home. the nine. Um, and just saying, mm -hmm. if I draw a three or something on the lower side, I can take my Pinifu and potential yeah, Samachan. Yeah, exactly. But I can see what he's going for here. Just sort of committing to these shapes and trying to suck Igidi the dangerous tiles. It was out of his hand ahead of time. And also, interestingly, Jacob not committing to Honitsu here. 
there still is a world where you shift that direction. Perhaps if you draw a 5-8 pin into Tempai, you can wait on a Tonki, and then switch that Tonki over to an Honor Tile or a Pin Tile for the Honitsu. Ooh. Ooh, Honkro Honkro Tron. Tron. Okay. We're that's, building Foo. That's, yeah, right now it's just Foo. But... Also building Ankos, which is used in a Yakuman. In a vacuum, at least. On the right gen, draws into Ooh. an Itsu chance. I feel like it's Tempai. Is going to Dama. Doesn't like that 7-so. Doesn't like trying to make that work. Uh-oh, another pair. Hold on. Now we're dropping 2-pin. Okay, we're not going to commit to 5-so yet. Probably thinking about it, though. If you draw a door, you can still play it around the 8. Philip Tempai on the door. Not willing to take this Richie, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That would deal into Toyman for 2-Han. 6 cents. Does Philip sense it? No. Go. Probably does, but he's like, well, I'm going to push it so as well. Yeah, you reach you to say, I know you have it, but I just wanted to show that I'm pushing because I'm Tempai too. Yeah. And also by, by waiting a turn, Philip saved a thousand points technically. And you don't lose the Richie stick when you deal it on the Richie tile. It's true. Okay, so Jen in cell three has some work to do. Not to get a first place here, but to get to set a, an armal record. We'll see if she can pull it together here. That's true. Very big. Probably even better than ranking up in a season. Think yeah. about how long Aaron's first has to... Jen, I think, is still on the board at the moment, too. Has to be be at least a plus 92.4 at this point in time. Oh, door drawn. There we go. That's a bit more shape. It's feeling better. The other hands look relatively slow. Perhaps Jacob could open for Tanya. Another good draw. Yaman Phil. It's and big. Two away from Tempai Feeling now. Good about that. Philip's making some, or Alex making some progress across the way, but still it seems much farther than Dealer here. Oh, five pin, the ideal draw. Ishant, uh, Ishanta now with Diamond, Diamond. Diamond, Diamond. Can it went out? Jacob just trying to shut this down with Tanya Dora. Takes some points into the, into the next one. Makes sense. This is like an Akagi where he's like, it, it's not about this hand, it's about the next hand. If you give him the flow on dealership, it's all over. Yeah, it has Santrico chance, so it could be three Han even. That's yeah, that's actually true. Oh, but Tempai Richie. found. We're gonna see a Richie smash. Richie door one from Jen. And Alec uh, Philip got close to Tempai, but might have to back out now. Yeah, it might be able to get away with South and does, but only a matter of time. Still three tiles in the ball, even after this five so draw. No, no, but throws the two, pushes for Tempai and deals in. Just reach door one. 3900 moves Jen closer. Still far away from dropping Alec below 30,000, but opens up another pretty decent high pie. There's a Dora and a, a callable Yaku high. On the right, lots of pairs and an Anko for Jacob. Doesn't want to open up on that 9p. I mean, I guess, yeah, anytime you get to Anko, like, you just, you try and play it from where you're at. You have a reasonable chance of being able to climb out of uh, second. If you can hit it. Boom. Building together a, a reasonable hand here. Chance to the force soundtrack. Also, could just be Shanyo Pifiri Peiko. Oh. Technically, I was going to say, there's another Yakuman that's not Suanko here. You definitely throw South first. 
But I mean, <laughs> what's the draw? Probably what two so? Yeah, two so would maybe be... six so. <sighs> I I don't know though. Gee. You're four tiles away from that. You are two tiles away from. Oh, there's their first chance. Yeah, there's still one, though. <laughs> Would be temp by for Toy Toy about it. Two here. Just playing the odds on Suanko. I think that's very fair. Yeah. Ooh, we are going to see temp by, though, from Alec. 8 5 pin. Tanya only Jen still a little bit behind here. But has two Dora, so the Eight right six, the right so. things come. Cuts from double north, okay. I, uh, I probably would have done double nine. Yeah, first. because you want to be able to back out with Honitsu. Toy yeah. Like that. And I'm still expecting to be able oh. to get a north out for the last one. Yeah, speaking of. Is that Ishan then for Philip now? Does he need to pass the south? And it does get uh, leave the hand, so that means Jen can also play it safely. Zumo. Oh, but Sumo oh, said Alex but the shut Sumo down. comes up. Alex said no fun. And now Jen needs like a Baimon in order to uh, top charts. And now Jacob needs to have the greatest dealer run in the history of this game. Kokshi? You can Hold just on. Go for <laughs> Hold on. Eight, nine, nine unique. We need, that's pretty good. Uh, we need north, which nine looks really pair. bad right now. <laughs> There's what? one north left in the wall. We're, we're making progress. One piece, super alive. One mon is super dead. dead. So we need to draw the last north now. Uh, Nine Mon is alive, still two in the wall. Okay. So we need to draw the last north, get Tenpai on one Mon, and then have somebody discard it. Easy. It's still alive. The dream is still alive. But uh, with these other hands, it's going to be so hard to make anything happen. It is shot and limping and walking down a flight of stairs right now, but. God knows we wanted to make it. Nine so comes out. You should do a Hone Roto or something. Like he's something on the right. Philip trying to force a Honitsu with the Dora. Is Can Hone Roto stack with Chi Toy? It can, right? It can, yes. Okay. I guess it has to be that or Toy Toy, so it still evens out in the Han. Okay. One Mon, nine Mon in the. Oh. Uh, you have to, what, three pairs? Oh. Four pairs now? Now's the decision point. Wait a second. Wait a second. No Souths. One West, one Haku still left. Okay, gives up. Yeah, for Kokushi. Yeah, yeah, Kokushi's gone, but maybe there's something else in store. There's some reasonable-ish chances for a Suiso. Green's dead, but Red's still alive. Haku's alive. West is alive. Oh, East is super dead, though. Yeah, it might be time. We might be looking for a Honroto here. But it's going to be Honroto or Honito at this point. Yeah, I kind of would have liked Jacob to realize that the East was dead there and throw that instead of that 9P. Because you do kind of need all your outs here. You really need a repeat. Oh, oh but Al finds, ah, I was going to say, Al no just drew fun. the temple of the Dora. Shuts it down no again. No fun, Alec. But uh, Alec with a very strong second place, 50,000. Yeah, plus, plus 25.5. It's like the second uh, 50,000 point second place we've seen today. Jen, though, the big story, 101,000 points, 600. Plus 86.6. Plus 86. Will and jump to the top of B2 with that. Absolutely. Sadly, so, did not make the top five leaderboard for highest scores. Had an incredible run with a Suanko Tanki and a Dealer Baimon.
Philip takes a third place, which is honestly kind of expected to have a negative 20 or worse when one player is at 100,000 points. And Jacob, it looks bad, but please understand that it was very unfortunate. I mean, you deal into... Honestly, like a Slunk lot of end. Jacob's discards, I would have made the same discards. Yeah. Like there was one or two where I might have said something's up and gotten scared off, but like probably not. Because it was all like Tenpai pushes. Exactly. With if, one Tadashi between. If you remove the shocking, you know, Suakotaki that you're just never expecting, it has the same yeah. number of points as Philip. So it yeah. it was uh, definitely an it's unfortunate fair. game. And we'll have to swallow those points and try to progress in the, in the last three uh, sessions. But what a win there for Jen. What a night of mahjong altogether honestly just w what happened to armal this season they're they're putting something in the servers it's like Bymon's left and right suanko tonki's left and right yeah, what's going on man last season wasn't like this suanko really has been the the yakuman of the season it feels like everyone i think there have been like two kokushi and 10 suanko two of which were tonki <laughs> Yeah, that sounds right. I do believe that is the last game of the evening. Yeah, that'll do it. And uh, what a great game to finish on. Yeah, good thing we uh, turned to that one right when we did, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we joined just in time for that Tokyo. That's definitely the uh, hand of the evening, but there there were a ton of exciting games. Uh, I'm sure you'll want to go back and rewatch those and you can do so. Man, do we? Wouldn't it be great if we had somewhere to watch old vods of streams, or even vods of ones that we just did? Absolutely. Yeah. Go to the YouTube channel, tinygirl.com/armly2 is the uh, link that you can travel to to find a channel. Um, not only today's vods, but also all the vods from previous seasons, all the way back down to like the second uh, season or the the championship game of the first season. So all those are on our YouTube channel. Also heard that if we get a couple more subscribers, we might be able to skip the tiny URL and just <laughs> yeah. have an actual YouTube link. Someone said it. Don't know if it's true, but you know, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. And subscribe to that. Mm. Also follow the Twitch channel. We've got more broadcasts planned for this week or the upcoming week. Uh, maybe even one as, as early as tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see if that one gets it's put true. together. If not, uh, at least whenever we do go live, you will be alerted. You can also follow mm -hmm. us on Twitter. Frequently we post um, not only the broadcast, uh, the expected broadcast dates and times, but also of the Yakuman that get won this season. So if you want to see the next Suwanko Taki, those oftentimes get tweeted out. And if you are interested in being a part of the League for the Fall season, you can register on our website, AmericanRichi.org. There's also registration starting for the um, International Online Richi Mahjong Competition, which uh, U.S. qualifiers are starting very soon. So if you want to be a part of yes. that and you are eligible uh check out the website for those uh registration for that tournament absolutely it's a super fun time did it last year it was a very very good scramble i will say yeah i've participated many times in the qualifying sessions and it's always a blast so really hope that we can get as many people to uh, participate as possible i saw there there already are um quite a number of, of Armal members who have joined the signups for that tournament. So really excited to being able to compete against all of you there. All right. Any final thoughts before we close it out, Harrison? God, just, hey, remember, keep tuning in because every stream so far has been just like tonight where someone does some <laughs> wacky stuff. Wacky Mahjong Wednesday. It holds up to his name. Absolutely. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Looking forward to seeing you on the next stream. Have a good one. Take care, y'all.